Chapter 1341. Opening of the Heavenly Tomb. A beautiful figure shot to the top of the green mountain with lightning speed. Within a couple of flashes, she had appeared in front of Xiao Yan. Her pretty eyes were filled with worry. Big brother Xiao Yan, are you all right? Earlier. Xiao Yan grinned and shook his head. He studied Shunar's tense face and said, Ugh, that person earlier was your father, clan head Gu Yuan. I knew it. Shunar knit her brows. Her tone faintly contained some fury. It was unexpected that even her father could not resist revealing himself after those fellows had unveiled their faces one after another. Ha ha, clan head Gu Yuan did not say anything to stop the two of us. He only discussed some matters related to the Xiao clan. Xiao Yan smiled and defended Gu Yuan. Is it true? He didn't talk about the matter between us? Shunar was slightly startled. Clearly, she felt very surprised. Xiao Yan rubbed his nose. He suddenly approached Shunar's delicate ear and softly uttered a couple of sentences. Shunar's elegant face immediately turned bright red when she heard his soft voice. Her pretty eyes cut Xiao Yan in a lovely and displeased manner. However, her expression had relaxed a little. Gu Yuan possessed an extremely high position within the Gu clan. If even he opposed their relationship, she would really end up in a dilemma. She was very unwilling to deal with that kind of situation. Let's return first. Big brother Xiao Yan, you already possess one of the spots to enter the heavenly tomb. All you need to do is wait for two days now, and we will be able to enter it together. Shunar gently pulled Xiao Yan's hand as she informed him with a smile. Joy flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes when he heard her words. He was worried that the elders within the Gu clan would come up with reasons to prevent him from entering the heavenly tomb. After hearing what Shunar had said, it was obvious that this problem had been resolved. Thank you very much, Shunar. Xiao Yan's hand gently rubbed her warm jade-like hand as he softly thanked her. He guessed that Shunar had helped him again. His act of hurrying to the Gu clan today was related to this. Shunar hinted at a smile. She twisted her delicate and gentle waist. Her face contained a bright redness as she gently leaned on Xiao Yan's shoulder. She shut her pretty eyes as she greedily inhaled the warm air that caused her to feel relaxed. A warmth rose within Xiao Yan's heart as studied the person in his embrace. His hand gently rested on a delicate waist. At the same time, his head was buried in soft black hair. Upon inhaling a faint fragrance, it appeared as though his fatigue had gradually disappeared. Gu Yuan's body slowly appeared in the empty sky above. He observed the man and woman embracing each other on the mountaintop and involuntarily sighed. After which, his body moved and he once again disappeared. Xiao Xuan, you are still the superior one. All agony seemed to have been abandoned within this pleasant country scene. Two days swiftly passed amid this quiet life. No one from the Gu clan came to disturb Xiao Yan's group during these two days. This kind of peace and quiet was wonderful. However, this silence could not last for long. When the morning light of the third day scattered down from the sky, an unusual atmosphere began to spread over the mountain range. Even Xiao Yan's group felt it. Today is the day that the heavenly tomb will open. Shunar stood in front of the bamboo house and uttered these words to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan grinned. Shunar beckoned with her hand, and the snow-white single-horned beast flew out of the mountain forest. Xiao Yan's group quickly got onto it with a familiarity. Finally, the single-horned beast flapped both its wings and flew to the east, after Shunar gave a soft whistle. The heavenly tomb will open deep within the Gu sacred mountain range. That place are a forbidden grounds of the Gu clan. No one is allowed to enter them normally. It will only open when the heavenly tomb is opened. A gentle breeze blew over the single-horned beast's back and lifted Shunar's black hair, which extended all the way to her delicate waist. At the same time, she was explaining things to Xiao Yan's group. There is some danger within the heavenly tomb. A countless number of experts from ancient times are buried within it. Although their souls have already disappeared, the energy from when they were alive have transformed into their past appearances due to the mysteriousness of the heavenly tomb. This energy is filled with an extremely powerful offensive strength. Moreover, they also know their due skills from when they were alive. It will be extremely difficult to deal with them. Shunar's expression became a little grave when she mentioned the interior of the heavenly tomb. She said, therefore, if one ends up meeting an overly powerful energy body, it is best to try and avoid it. It is rumored that some experts with extremely great strength when they were alive have produced energy bodies with some intelligence. They could even be considered a mysterious living creature. A living creature that has been transformed from the dead, huh? Xiao Yan thought aloud. 
the overly great strength from when these people were alive and the mysterious effects of the heavenly tomb were the reasons why such a strange occurrence happens. The heavenly tomb is divided into three levels. The energy bodies on the first level are mostly three star do zuns or weaker. They drift around without any consciousness and are not very difficult to deal with. The second level's energy bodies are between a three and eight star do zun. They are quite troublesome to deal with. As for the third level, those are genuinely at the peak of the Du Zun class. There are even some ultimate experts who have reached the Du Sheng class when they were alive. Normally speaking, seldom anyone barges into the third level without absolute confidence. That place is too dangerous. Shunner slowly explained. The tomb of my ancestor, Xiao Xuan, is in the third level? Xiao Yan asked. This? It is rumored that it is in the deepest part of the third level. However, seldom anyone dares to enter that place even from our Gu clan. Shunner helplessly replied. It is actually so troublesome. There will definitely be a path when we get there. Let's enter the heavenly tomb before discussing our plans. Xiao Yan felt much calmer after this thought flashed across his heart. After which, he asked Shunner about information related to the heavenly tomb. The single horned beast gradually traveled deep into the mountain range while the two of them were chatting. Xiao Yan's group had met some people who were hurrying to this place along the way. They were mostly experts from the other six clans and some Gu clan experts. Although they had met them, there were not many conversations. Only the clan members from the Gu clan respectfully greeted Shunner from a distance before they swiftly left. The flying continued for around 10 minutes before the single horned beast finally stopped by some steep mountains. At this moment, quite a number of figures had gathered here. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over, only to see quite a number of familiar figures. Xiao Yan's eyes suddenly hardened as they swept across the surrounding mountains. Three black robed figures were suspended in the empty air, where his gaze froze a dark and cold aura slowly spread from the bodies of these three. Hanya. Xiao Yan's eyes narrowed when he saw these three people. The fist under his sleeve was slowly tightened. Big brother Xiao Yan, be careful of the person leading those from the Hun clan. He is called Hanya. It is rumored that he is quite renowned among the members of the younger generation from the Hun clan, and he is extremely difficult to deal with. He is likely going to be entering the heavenly tomb. You should be more careful if you meet him in the heavenly tomb. Shunner whispered beside Xiao Yan's ear. I, I have already met him. Xiao Yan nodded. He was naturally aware of just how strong Hun Yu was. From his guess, this person was likely as difficult to deal with as Gu Yao. Those geniuses within the clans with long history did indeed possess true strength. They were not the same level as those useless geniuses outside. The members from the Ling clan from the eight clans did not arrive this time around. That group to the southeast is from the Yao clan. Oh. A thought passed through Xiao Yan's heart. He glanced where Shunner pointed and saw a couple of figures suspended in the air. There was a medicinal cauldron image on their foreheads. A man, who was leading those from the Yao clan, sensed something when Xiao Yan's eyes landed on this group. He tilted his head and shifted his eyes to Xiao Yan. He was briefly startled before an unfriendly smile was lifted onto his face. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes when he saw this gaze. It seemed that the people from the Yao clan were prejudiced against him. The eastern side are those from the Lei clan. Old Mr. Mang Tian Chi is leading them this trip. However, he will not enter the heavenly tomb. Most of the time, the ones who enter are members of the younger generation. After all, the heavenly tomb is not a bad training ground. Xiao Yan once again shifted his eyes. He looked to a group of people with a lightning mark on their foreheads and nodded. You have already met those from the Yan clan. On the western side are those from the Xi clan. Due to their bloodline, their physical bodies are all extremely frightening. They could be comparable to some of the top magical beasts within the magical beast world. Xiao Yan turned to the west. A group of grayish-white individuals stood there. An enormous rock was tattooed on their foreheads. These are all the people who will enter the heavenly tomb this time around. Other than the Gu clan, which looks after the heavenly tomb, the other clans only possess two spots each. Shunner smiled as she spoke. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. He was just about to speak when he suddenly sensed this entire place trembling. A vast ancient aura slowly spread from empty space. Everyone present felt respect and fear surging from deep within their souls when faced with this ancient aura. The heavenly tomb is about to open. Shunner softly said as she watched the sky suddenly become dark. Bang. Shunner's words had just sounded when a shockingly loud noise was emitted from empty space and a 10,000-foot-large spatial crack spread across the sky. 
a cluster of silver light gradually surfaced in the middle of this spatial line. Finally, the line transformed into a thousand-foot-large spatial door with a vast ancient aura spreading from it. This is the heavenly tomb, huh? Xiao Yan muttered to himself as he studied the ancient door standing between the sky and earth. End of chapter. Chapter 1342. Entering the Heavenly Tomb. The ancient spatial door stood between the sky and the earth. An ancient aura spread from it, causing everyone's soul to quiver. Everyone should be aware of the rules regarding entering the heavenly tomb. Every clan has two places. There cannot be an excess number of people entering. Elder Tong Shuan's elderly figure was suspended in the sky. His eyes looked down at the surrounding human figures as he spoke. Everyone slightly nodded upon hearing his words. The rules of entering the heavenly tomb has always been like this. Each clan has two places. This has continued even now. However, only the Gu clan, being the clan that guarded the heavenly tomb, received preferential treatment. For example, there were five from the Gu clan who could enter the heavenly tomb this time around. This kind of preferential treatment made the other clans a little jealous. Big Brother Xiao Yan, we will be randomly separated if we enter separately. Therefore we must enter together. Shunar turned her head and smiled as she spoke to Xiao Yan. I. Xiao Yan nodded. He was extremely unfamiliar with the heavenly tomb. If he had Shunar with him, he would be saved from many unnecessary troubles. Rumble. The ancient door that was within the spatial crack in the sky suddenly unleashed a loud rumbling sound, while Xiao Yan nodded. That large door slowly opened, forming a gap. A glaring light erupted from it and lit up the land. If people have been properly assigned, please prepare to enter the heavenly tomb. Remember, all of you can only remain in the heavenly tomb for three years. After three years, the heavenly tomb will automatically expel you. Elder Tong Shuin once again spoke in a deep voice as he watched the ancient door slowly open. Three years, around half a year in the outside world. Xiao Yan mused. This was quite a good opportunity. The heavenly tomb was an extremely useful training spot, since the flow of time within it was strange. If Xiao Yan were to train for three years within it, his strength would definitely increase. Bang! The gap of the ancient door in the sky grew wider. It was a hundred feet in size. A dense aura from ancient times rolled out like a fog. Chi. A couple sounds of rushing wind suddenly appeared from within the mountain forest after the ancient door opened. Four figures rushed toward the sky with lightning-like speed and entered the door that had just opened in front of many eyes. The members of the Gu clan. Gu Zhen has also entered? Xiao Yan was slightly surprised when he saw the four figures. The figure leading them was that strong green-clothed man, whom Xiao Yan had sensed back then. Behind that man was a silver-robed man and a man with a burly appearance. Of course, the person who caused Xiao Yan to be the most surprised was the last figure, Gu Zhen. Gu Yao did not choose to enter the heavenly tomb this time around. It seems he undertook a retreat. Therefore, the elders got Gu Zhen to replace him. Shunar softly explained. It seems that this failure has been a big blow to him. If he is unable to accept this kind of failure, he will stop at this level. Xiao Yan indifferently shook his head. When he fought with others, he would not become dispirited if he lost. The stronger the opponent, the greater his desire to win. With the state of mind of someone like Gu Yao, it would be extremely difficult if he truly wished to break through to the Du Zun class to become a Du Sheng. Compared with Gu Zhen, Xiao Yan felt that Gu Zhen's achievement would be even greater. Gu Zhen's talent might not be as great as Gu Yao, but his character was the most calm and indifferent among all the members of the younger generation whom Xiao Yan had met during these years. This kind of character, which is as firm as a mountain, has bestowed him with an exceptionally indomitable ability to survive. Shunar nodded. She smiled sweetly and asked, shall we also get moving? Xiao Yan inclined his head. After which, he turned his head and looked at the little fairy doctor behind him. He smiled as he said, the time that I will spend in the heavenly tomb will likely be quite long. You can return to the falling star pavilion first should anything happen. Be careful. The little fairy doctor nodded. Her voice was warm and gentle. Xiao Yan smiled. After which, he exchanged glances with Shunar. Their bodies moved, and they transformed into two light figures that swiftly bolted toward the large ancient door. They subsequently disappeared within the intense light from the large door. The members from the remaining clans began to move one after another after the duo disappeared. They turned into numerous rays of light that flew into the large door. After the final figure entered the large door, an intense ripple suddenly appeared, and the door slowly became illusory in front of everyone's eyes until it disappeared. 
The foggy place occasionally had some strange fire glows flashing in the distance. They would flash and disappear. The death-like silence covered this foreign land. Chi. The space within the silent land suddenly became distorted. Immediately, two figures, holding hands, slowly stepped out of the space and appeared. The Du Qi within their bodies circulated as their eyes cautiously observed their surroundings. This is the heavenly tomb? Xiao Yan sighed in relief after failing to detect an unexpected situation. He curiously observed his surroundings as he asked. I. Shunner smiled and nodded. The others had been transported to other places. This heavenly tomb was extremely vast. It was difficult to say whether or not they would run into others. There is an extremely rich energy. It is even stronger than the Gu realm's energy. Xiao Yan grabbed the foggy air in front of him. He was surprised to discover that the natural energy contained within the air was extremely dense, and its purity greatly exceeded his expectations. Shunner sweetly smiled. She tilted her head, looked at Xiao Yan, and asked, which level does big brother Xiao Yan wish to head to? If it is possible, I wish to head to Ancestor Xiao Xuan's tomb on the third level of the heavenly tomb. However, that place is too dangerous. We are in no hurry now. After all, we have three years. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before replying. Shunner did not appear surprised by Xiao Yan's reply. She was aware of his character. Having come here, it was only natural that he would not give up on Xiao Xuan's tomb. Let's get moving. The heavenly tomb is extremely large. We should hurry to the second level first. Based on my estimations, it will take around four months or so. Due to the energy pressure within this heavenly tomb, we are unable to fly for long. Therefore, we must spend most of the time walking. Shunner spoke with a smile. Her pretty eyes landed on Xiao Yan as she said, when we reach the entrance of the second level, big brother Xiao Yan might reach the peak of a five-star Du Zun. Of course, if you are lucky, it is not impossible to even reach the sixth star. Oh. So quick? Xiao Yan was startled. Shunner softly laughed. She turned her head, and her pretty eyes looked at the foggy air to her right. Her hand was slowly lifted before she suddenly clenched it. Energy swiftly agglomerated when Shunner clenched her hand. In the blink of an eye, the fog there completely scattered. An illusory body vaguely appeared in Xiao Yan's sight. This is energy body? Xiao Yan was startled when he saw this illusory figure. He had not detected the approach of this thing. I. They can rely on the energy fog to hide themselves. They will quietly approach us and then launch an attack. Shunner smiled and nodded. She flicked her finger, and the illusory figure suddenly became distorted. A puff sounded and the figure exploded. A thumb-sized cluster of light swiftly rushed to Shunner before she grabbed it. This is an energy core. It stores extremely pure energy, and it is the extremely nourishing thing that I had mentioned. Shunner opened her hand, and a rhombus-shaped thumb-sized crystal appeared in her palm. It glowed with an extremely rich energy fog. Normally speaking, the energy cores within the heavenly tomb are divided into nine grades. The energy contained within the core in my hand has only reached the second grade. It isn't considered very good. Those high-grade energy cores are all in the deepest parts of the first level or the lower levels. Well, big brother Xiao Yan, why don't you give it a try first? Hold it in your palm and use your key method to absorb it. Shunner flicked her finger as she spoke. She shot the energy core toward Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan received the energy core and curiously played with it. After which, he did what Shunner had said. He grabbed the energy core in his hand and circulated his key method. Following the circulation of the flame mantra, Xiao Yan suddenly felt a chill within his heart. He was stunned to sense wave after wave of warm pure energy, surging out of the energy core like floodwater. After which, the energy surged around Xiao Yan's body. He rejoiced because he barely needed to refine this energy. All he needed to do was circulate it within his veins, and the energy was deposited in his limbs and bones. Finally, it entered his muscles, bones, and cells. The way it seeped in caused Xiao Yan sense the gradually strengthening energy within his body. Huh. What a mysterious thing. It is even smoother to absorb it than ordinary medicinal pills. No wonder even the Gu clan, Hun clan, and these ultimate factions hold it in such high regards. It is such a mysterious treasure ground. Xiao Yan opened his hand after the final cluster of energy entered his body, and the energy core had turned into dust. An expression of surprise had surged onto his face. If it was not difficult to obtain such an energy core, it would not be impossible for him to advance to a six-star Du Zun within four months. Shunner smiled when she saw the shock on Xiao Yan's face. 
she placed her hands behind her, and her toes were pressed on the ground. Her lovely body appeared just like a butterfly as she elegantly drifted forward. A sweet clear laughter softly spread. Big Brother Xiao Yan, let's go. Why don't we play a game? Who will be able to obtain more energy cores during these three years? Xiao Yan smiled, strode forward, and swiftly followed. He was very curious just how strong he would grow during these three years. End of chapter. Chapter 1343? Bitter Training. Fluorescent lights drifted above the foggy land. At a glance, it appeared like the entire world was covered in a deadly silence. There was not even the slightest life force present. This dead silence remained for an unknown period of time. Suddenly, the low and deep sound of rushing wind appeared. A low cry was mixed within it. The sound followed the fog and penetrated through it. If one's eyes were to follow the direction where the sound originated, one would be able to see two blurry figures. Only upon closer inspection one would discover ten illusory figures around the two people. These figures had empty eye sockets floating around. Despite the absence of eyes, the speed and strength of these energy figures was not weakened even a little. A majestic energy surged when they attacked. Some of the large rocks on the ground were shattered. He, attack. Xiao Yan involuntarily laughed as he watched the energy bodies surrounding him. After which, he let out a loud cry. Xiao Yan's figure rushed away almost instantly after his loud cry sounded. At the same time, a lovely figure also flashed and appeared from another spot beside Xiao Yan. A golden light was unleashed from her hand, and it smashed into the many energy bodies with lightning-like speed. A deep explosion spread over the area. Even the dense fog had become much thinner. This kind of explosion continued for a moment before it swiftly came to a stop. Two figures once again appeared together. They exchanged looks and laughed. Five pieces. Xiao Yan opened his palm. Five thumb-sized energy cores appeared in it. They emitted a dense energy. Six pieces. Shunar also extended her white jade-like hand. Six similar energy cores appeared in her palm. Shunar covered her mouth and softly laughed when she saw the difference. She said in a lovely voice, Big Brother Xiao Yan, I have won again this time around. Xiao Yan helplessly shook his head. Although the strength of these energy bodies was at the two star du Zun class, dealing with five of them at the same time was already his limit. If there were any more of them, he would have to use a du skill. If they continued to compete like this, he was unable to match Shunur. Absorb the energy cores first. I will stand guard. Shunur placed all of the energy cores in Xiao Yan's hand as she ordered him. Xiao Yan took the energy cores into his hand without rejecting her. He was aware that he was extremely pressed to raise his strength. Hence, he did not utter any pointless rejections. He received the energy cores and swiftly sat down. His key method was circulated and wave after wave of rich energy surged from the energy core. It appeared like a thick fog that wrapped around Xiao Yan and poured into his body like an air dragon, following his breathing. Shunar smiled when she saw Xiao Yan absorb the energy. She gently sat beside Xiao Yan, and her hand parted the black hair in front of her forehead. It had been nearly two months since they had entered the heavenly tomb. During these two months, the two of them had continued to walk through this vast land. Any energy bodies that they meet along the way would be turned into energy cores and would appear in their hands. Hence, the gains that they had obtained during these two months were quite rich, but they felt somewhat regretful since the energy bodies were not very strong. The energy cores that they had obtained only appeared to be of the second grade or third grade. These energy cores were still a little useful. When Xiao Yan absorbed more and more energy cores, their effects seemed to become a little poorer. Only now did he understand that if one absorbed too much of this energy, one's body would form a resistance to it. However, this resistance was much weaker than what was formed against a medicinal pill. This quiet world was extremely beneficial to train in. However, one would have to endure a dullness that was many times greater than the outside world. Fortunately, Xiao Yan and Shunar were accompanying each other, so the days might appear dull, but there was an additional liveliness. Huh. Xiao Yan's absorption of the energy core did not last for long before his eyes slowly opened. He inhaled a deep breath of air, and the energy lingering around him turned into a cluster of air that was swallowed into his stomach. How is it? Shunar stretched her lazy waist after watching Xiao Yan complete the absorption. Her pretty curves were completely exposed, and her tone contained a tempting laziness. There has been an improvement. However, I am still a ways from the six-star level. It seems that we must find some higher grade energy cores. Xiao Yan frowned as he spoke. Ha ha, we are already approaching the middle section of the first level. 
the energy bodies from here on will gradually become stronger. If we are lucky, we might even be able to meet an energy body with the strength of a six-star Duzun or higher. The energy cores within their bodies are most suitable to you. Shunner sweetly smiled as she explained the situation. Her enchanting smile caused the irritation that had appeared within Xiao Yan's body to quietly disappear. How far is it to the second level? It should take another month or so. The heavenly tomb has three levels. The first level is the most spacious. The subsequent two levels are a little better. However, the danger will also increase. Shunner replied. There is still another month, huh? Xiao Yan mused. He nodded and stood up. He looked to the horizon and smiled as he said, in that case, let's continue to travel. I wonder what those other fellows are like now. Those who can enter the heavenly tomb are all very strong individuals within the clan. They also understand the heavenly tomb quite well. Unless they end up provoking an extremely powerful existence, nothing should happen to them. Moreover, an existence that has reached that level will rarely be found on the first level. Let's go. Xiao Yan nodded. After which, he waved his large hand, took a step forward, and quickly headed in the direction of the deepest part of the heavenly tomb. Shunner smiled and followed close behind him. Although this world was dull, any dull place would become extremely warm when she could be with him. The vast heavenly tomb was filled with a dense energy fog. Under this energy pressure, anything that flew would feel their bodies grow as heavy as a mountain. One would feel extremely exhausted after flying for a short period of time. Thus, the heavenly tomb appeared endless. The world in the heavenly tomb was dead quiet and uninteresting. However, no mediocre person could enter this mysterious place. The people who could enter stood out from the many geniuses within their clans. Not only did they possess powerful strengths, even their characters were quite clam. Although this dullness was a little abominable to them, it was still within their ability to endure. Under this kind of dullness, it appeared that the concept of time had become much weaker. Hence, Xiao Yan and Shunner could not help but feel a little stunned when they saw an energy wall on the edge of their sights, after they had spent four months crossing the vast heavenly tomb. Is this the entrance to the second level? Xiao Yan asked in a slightly surprised voice after seeing the energy light wall, which seemed to pour down from the edge of the sky. A travel-worn feeling spread from Xiao Yan. His black hair had become a little longer, and his face seemed to have become a little thinner. However, his dark black eyes contained a glint of flickering light. Ever since Xiao Yan and Shunner had entered the deepest parts of the first level, they have had to face the attacks of some powerful energy bodies. Xiao Yan was the one who had dealt with most of these attacks, because Xiao Yan could only stop Shunner from intervening, after seeing her destroy a six-star Duzun energy body, in a swift and simple manner. The first level did not pose much of a threat to her, and it would not have much of an effect on her training. However, it was different for Xiao Yan. He was only a five-star Duzun. If he did not use any Du skills, he would obtain benefits from exchanging blows with those six-star Duzun energy bodies. Of course, this was temporary. After the number of times they fought increased, Xiao Yan had become familiar with these energy bodies. Hence, the time of the fight had been reduced from a dozen plus exchanges to less than 10 exchanges. Some of the weaker six-star energy bodies were dealt with by Xiao Yan within three exchanges. Big Brother Xiao Yan, you are currently at the peak of the fifth star and will break through to the sixth star level soon. I suggest you break through before entering the second level. Otherwise, the Du Qi within your body will not be stable if it is full. Moreover, the second level is more dangerous than the first. One cannot guarantee that nothing will happen if one advances one's level there. Shunner looked at the enormous energy light curtain in the distance before turning her head. She smiled as she gave Xiao Yan a suggestion. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment after hearing her words. Finally, he nodded. After having trained for four months within the heavenly tomb and having swallowed thousands of energy cores, the Du Qi within his body was at a full state. He would be able to break through to the sixth star at any moment. However, one's aura would end up unstable when advancing one's level, and it would not be suitable to stay in such a place. The advancement between levels in the Du Zun class requires too much energy. The energy that I have absorbed during these four months is something that I would not have been able to obtain in the outside world even after an entire year. This energy has barely reached the requirement to break through. I wonder just what kind of frightening energy one requires to break through the sixth star to the seventh star. Xiao Yan softly sighed in his heart. He swiftly focused his mind, turned his head to Shunner, and said, in that case, I will have to ask you to guard me again. Shunner smiled and nodded. 
Xiao Yan swept his eyes around him when he saw her nod. His body leaped onto a large rock. After which, he swiftly sat down. He entered his training condition, and a cluster Du Qi began to gradually spread from his body. That covered the area within a hundred meter radius. After Xiao Yan shut his eyes and attempted to break through, Shunar's toes pressed against the ground. Her body drifted onto a large rock. Her eyes were shut, and the activity within a thousand foot radius was captured within her heart. Following the silence of these two, the land once again became completely quiet. After this dead silence continued for around two hours, a dark and cold wind suddenly rushed over. Shunar on the large rock suddenly opened her eyes when this dark and cold wind appeared. Her face was ice cold as she looked to the sky in the north. She spoke in an indifferent voice, since you are here, why do you need to continue hiding? Have the current members of the Hun clan become this terrible? Ha ha, you are worthy of being in possession of the divine bloodline of the Gu clan. Such perception is indeed praiseworthy. The space in the distance fluctuated after Shunar's cold voice sounded. Immediately, two black-robed figures slowly stepped in the air and arrived. A dark and dense aura slowly spread from them. End of chapter. Chapter 1344? Hunya, Hun Li. Two figures covered in black robes stepped through empty space. After which, they slowly landed a short distance from Shunar. The leader raised his head, revealing a young pale white face. It was Hunya from the Hun clan. Hunya, you are really bold. Shunar's eyes were icy cold as she stared at Hunya and slowly yelled at him. Ha ha, what is there to be afraid of? Your status does not pose the slightest deterrence to me. Actually, I really wish to know just what kind of uproar would occur within the Gu clan if you, a clan member with the divine bloodline, meet with an accident. Hunya laughed. His voice was filled with a dark chill. With your skill? The golden flame slowly danced within Shunar's voice as she calmly inquired. I know that it would be difficult to deal with you. Therefore, my target this time around is not you but him. Hunya smiled. His finger suddenly pointed toward Xiao Yan, who was breaking through with his eyes shut. He laughed in a cold voice, actually one month ago, I sensed the both of you through my spiritual eye. However, I did not find a good opportunity to attack. Fortunately, such an opportunity has finally arrived. Shunar coldly laughed, you can come and try. As you wish. Hunya smiled. A cold arc was lifted onto his pale face. Hun Li, attack together and kill her. Understood. The black-robed person beside Hun Ya nodded when he heard this command. He pulled off the doping on his head, revealing a scar-filled face. A pair of indifferent and emotionless eyes stared at Shunar a short distance away. There was not the slightest ripple in them because of Shunar's extremely beautiful appearance. It is likely that Miss Shunar has heard of Hun Li, right? Ha ha, quite a number of experts from the Gu clan have died to his hands during the hidden fights between the Gu clan and the Hun clan during these years. Of course, those injuries on his body were bestowed by those people. Hunya smiled as he looked at Shunar and said. I am aware that your strength is extremely great. However, I wish to see whether you can block two eight-star Du Zuns when they are attacking together. Shunar's face was without a ripple, appearing like an old well. She did not show the slightest unusual emotion because of Hunya's words. She slowly stood up from the large rock. A golden flame lingered in her eyes. Bang. That man called Hun Li stomped his foot on the ground the moment Shunar's eyes filled with the golden flame. His body appeared in front of Shunar with lightning-like speed. His fist, which contained a dense cold aura, smashed toward Shunar's neck without any fancy moves. Shunar's eyes became cold when Hun Li attacked. Her hand penetrated empty space with lightning-like speed, and she slammed into the fist just as it had been thrown forward. Bang! The fist and palm collided. A frightening wind caused the large rocks under their feet to explode with a bang. Hun Li's body staggered two steps back. Although he was at a disadvantage, Hun Li was not furious. An abnormal smile appeared on his face. His body flashed, and he once again pounced forward in a crazy fashion. Frightening wind shook the entire area until it rapidly began to distort. Faced with Hun Li's ferocious attack, Shunar's legs suddenly displayed a mysterious footwork. She easily dodged those sharp palm winds. Each time her weak hand struck Hun Li's body, he would violently tremble. Hun Li appeared to be attacking in the battleground. However, his rhythm was clearly being controlled by Shunar. It was like a furious bull on a rampage was attempting to strike a dancing butterfly. It might appear fierce, but it did not pose much threat. Shunar once again forced Hun Li back with a palm. Her body suddenly turned, and she clenched her hand. 
a golden flame turned into a fire whip that shot out from her sleeve. Space fluctuated the moment the golden fire whip shot out. The dark black chain that contained a dark murderous aura shot from empty space like a poisonous snake. It heavily collided with the fire whip. An ear-piercing sizzling sound erupted. Hee hee, you are indeed worthy of being someone who possesses the divine bloodline. Your senses are this sharp. Hanya's figure appeared at the end of the dark black chain. He coldly laughed as he widened his mouth. A large black dragon surged out. This dragon was accompanied by a sharp deafening dragon roar. It tore through the air and ruthlessly charged towards Shunur. If one were to observe the scene carefully, one might discover that this dark black dragon was formed by many souls. The sharp dragon roar was emitted from many miserable screeches. Dirty tricks. Shunur's eyes became cold as she watched the dark black chain rushed over. She was just about to attack when an extremely ferocious wind was suddenly transmitted from behind her. Even without turning around, she was aware that Hun Li had attacked again. Even Shunur ended up knitting her brows when faced with two eight-star Du Zun experts. Her toes pressed on the ground, and her body rushed into the air. After which, the seal formed by her hand changed. A dense golden flame suddenly surged from her body in all directions. It transformed into a hundred-meter-large fire hand that reached for the enormous dark black dragon. Bang! The golden fire hand grabbed the dark black dragon. The frightening temperature turned the souls into nothing before their miserable screech could be emitted. Chi. The sharp wind from behind her arrived after she had shattered the black soul dragon. Her hand formed a seal with lightning-like speed before smashing it behind her without even turning her head. Bang. The two collided. A frightening wind swept over the sky like a storm. The rich energy fog within a thousand foot radius had become thinner as a result. The visibility within the fog had become much better. Groan. A muffled moan was emitted from Hun Li's throat when the wind swept away. His feet staggered back through empty air. That frightening and ferocious scar-filled face revealed a faint paleness on it. Although Hun Li was forced back, Shunur's foot was shaken until she took half a step back. A slight numb feeling appeared within her hand. This Hun Li was clearly not a simple character. Otherwise, he would not have been able to force her back. Hunya, it looks like the two of you do not wish to leave the Gu realm alive. Shunur clenched her hand. Her icy cold eyes landed on Hunya as she coldly cried out. Hee hee, there is no need for Miss Shunur to be worried. Hunya laughed in a dark voice. His eyes suddenly glanced down. Xiao Yan was seated below him. The Du Qi fluctuation around him was becoming more intense. We won't be able to kill Shunur within a short period of time. Looks like we can only kill Xiao Yan. After having experienced these exchanges, Hanya had gained an understanding of Shunur's strength. He understood that even if he and Hun Li were to join hands, they could fight with Shunur, but they would not be able to seriously injure or kill her. However, Xiao Yan was currently in a state where he was experiencing a breakthrough. If he were to successfully do so, they would end up with some trouble. Despite Xiao Yan only being a six-star Du Zun, Hunya, who had watched the battle between Xiao Yan and Gu Yao back then, understood that Xiao Yan's fighting strength far exceeded his surface strength. Hun Li, go and kill Xiao Yan. I will stop her. Shunur's expression finally changed when she heard Hun Yu's cry. Her lovely figure flashed as she swiftly rushed toward Xiao Yan. However, she had yet to get far when a whistling wind erupted behind her. Shunur turned her head to see countless number of sharp black chains pouring toward her like a storm. Each of these chains possessed a strength to easily penetrate the defenses of an elite Du Zun. When such a number of them had gathered together, even Shunur could not act like she had seen nothing. Hanya, if you dare hurt him, this heavenly tomb shall be your final resting place. Shunur could only turn her body when faced with Hanya's ferocious attack. The golden flame swept apart, and those chains were shattered amid some clang sounds. This woman. What powerful strength. If it was a one-on-one -on -one fight, I am really no match for her. Hanya's expression changed as he watched the dark black chains shatter in an instant. He turned his gaze, and a cold smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Hun Li had swiftly rushed to the large rock where Xiao Yan was training at this moment. Hun Li's actions were also discovered by Shunur. A dense murderous aura surged from her eyes. Her sleeve shook and a golden long spear that contained an extremely frightening energy suddenly shot out. It ruthlessly shot at Hunya. However, Hunya was expressionless as he faced Shunur's ferocious attack. It appeared as though he did not sense it. His fist, which was covered in a dense cold fog, smashed toward Xiao Yan's head without any hesitation. 
it was as though he wanted to take Xiao Yan's life, even if he ended up being seriously injured by Shunur. Even Shunur's face had suddenly revealed a paleness when she saw the scene. The bone-chilling craziness erupted from deep within her eyes. When this craziness had surged from deep within Shunur's eyes, Xiao Yan, who was seated on the large rock, suddenly opened his eyes. The corner of his mouth was lifted into a cold smile. His right hand slammed toward Hun Li, who was within close proximity, with lightning-like speed. Great Heaven Creation Palm. The moment the palm was thrown out, a dark black heart-chilling light sphere began to expand with lightning-like speed. At this moment, the eyes of the ferocious-looking Hun Li finally revealed an aghast expression. End of chapter. Chapter 1345. Advancing to Six Star. The dark black light sphere was like a mysterious black hole that swiftly spread from Xiao Yan's palm. Within the blink of an eye, it ruthlessly collided with Hun Li, who was in close proximity. What a frightening retaliation by this brat. A shocked expression flashed across Hun Li's eyes as he watched the black hole rapidly magnify in his eyes. Given Xiao Yan's strength, it was impossible for him to block an attack by Hun Li even after waking up. However, Hun Li did not expect this fellow to unhesitatingly unleash a powerful Du skill the moment he opened his eyes. When the black hole made contact with Hun Li's body, his body emitted wave after wave of dense black fog due ki. However, it did not erode him and cause his body to disappear like old ghost Jai Xin. Clearly, the strength of Hun Li had far exceeded old ghost Jai Xin. Humph. Xiao Yan's eyes turned cold when he sensed the light sphere met some resistance. Du Qi began to surge from his body in all directions before pouring into the dark black light sphere. Sizzle sizzle. Following the pouring in of Du Qi, Hanya's sleeve was shattered with a ripping sound. Dense droplets of blood seeped from his arms. These blood droplets rolled down before turning into a line that continued to fall to the ground. Hun Li's expression changed when he sensed the frightening tearing force that was spreading from the light circle. He could sense the energy within the light sphere was becoming stronger. If this continued, he would not be able to endure, and some serious injuries would occur. Soul Explosion a brutalness flashed across Hun Li's eyes when this thought appeared in his heart. A dense black fog continued to surge from his palm. Finally, numerous powerful spiritual bodies exploded amid a wave of sharp miserable screeches. A frightening energy exploded at this moment and forcefully stopped the speed at which the black light was expending. With the help of the reaction force from the soul explosion, Hun Li's body swiftly pulled back. He is indeed worthy of being an expert of the Hun clan. A grave expression flew across Xiao Yan's eyes when he saw that this fellow blocked the great heaven creation palm, but his right palm slammed into the empty air in an abrupt manner. Bang! After Xiao Yan's palm fell, the black light sphere, which had been blocked by the soul explosion, emitted a bang before continuing to expand. It caught up to the rapidly withdrawing Hun Yu with lightning-like speed. The light sphere ruthlessly collided with his body. Grug! The blood and Du Qi within Hun Li's body churned after suffering this ferocious strike. His organs appeared to have been shaken until their positions were shifted. A mouthful of fresh red blood was spat out. His body flew into the distance like a kite with its string broken. Since you have already attacked, you should leave your life behind. Shunur was startled by this scene that had occurred within a split second. Her heart sighed in relief after seeing that Xiao Yan was all right. Her pretty eyes glanced at Hun Li, who had flown back after being injured. The murderous desire in her heart suddenly surged. With a shake of her hand, a long spear with golden flames on it penetrated empty space with lightning speed. It ruthlessly rushed toward Hun Li's head. Shunur was extremely vicious. At this moment, Hun Li was completely exhausted. Moreover, his body was in the air. It was impossible for him to dodge her attack. Hence, he could only watch as the golden spear ruthlessly shot toward his head. Bang! When the golden spear was about to strike Hun Li's head, a wind suddenly shot over. It heavily struck Hun Li's body. With the push from this force, Hun Li's body shifted a little. Instead of his head, his shoulder ended up receiving the attack. Puff! The golden spear ruthlessly shot into Hun Li's shoulder. Its frightening strength penetrated his shoulder. Hun Li's body flew because of the long spear. It was violently nailed into the ground. The land within a thousand feet collapsed and became half a meter deep. A frightening wind spread from where the ground collapsed. A dark black figure flashed and arrived in a ghost-like fashion. A gloominess flashed across Hun Yu's face when he saw Hun Li's blood-covered body. A mouth-sized injury that revealed Hun Li's bone appeared on his shoulder. 
Hanya's hand was used as a knife as he decisively hacked down. Fresh blood spluttered as he completely cut off Hun Lee's left arm. That spot had been completely eroded by the golden flame. Hun Lee would gradually have turned into ashes if he kept it. However, Hun Lee was quite tough. He clenched his teeth without making any noise when Hun Ye forcefully cut off his arm. Xiao Yan, consider yourselves ruthless. This debt will not be settled so easily. Hun Ye grabbed Hun Li, who barely had any breath left. He looked at Xiao Yan and Shunner in a vicious manner as he spoke in a dense voice. You wish to leave? Shunner coldly laughed when she saw him. She was just about to move and stop him when a dense black fog surged out of Hun Ye's body. A countless number of ferocious-looking spiritual bodies shot out in all directions. They viciously rushed toward Shunner. However, they ended up exploding with a bang when they were still a hundred feet from her. Countless number of souls self-destructed. That frightening air wave caused Shunner to frown, her body pulled back a couple of steps as she waved her hand. Golden flames swept out and incinerated the dark black fog. However, Hanyu and Hun Li were nowhere to be found within the black fog. They are really quick to escape. Shunner knit her brows. She turned her head and glanced at the energy light curtain that lead to the second level. Two figures vaguely flashed beyond that spot. After which, they entered the curtain. Those two were clearly Hun Yu and Hun Li. Shunner hurriedly looked at Xiao Yan after withdrawing her eyes from the energy curtain, only to see that his face was a little pale. She hurried over and asked, Big Brother Xiao Yan, are you all right? It's nothing serious. I have just broken through, and the Du Qi within my body is still unstable. Unleashing that Yan class Du skill has resulted in a backlash. I will be fine after I recuperate for a while. Xiao Yan shook his head and replied. We nearly fell for a trick of those two. We must take their lives the next time we meet them. Shunner furiously cried out. Xiao Yan nodded. A killing intent surged within his eyes. If he had not awoken early this time around and used a Yan class do skill, that sneak attack would have succeeded. We should be a little more careful in the future. Those fellows aren't ordinary. Xiao Yan quietly spoke in his heart. Since there had been no trace of anyone during this period of training, Xiao Yan's caution had been reduced. Only now did he understand that this heavenly tomb was not as peaceful as he had imagined. Big brother Xiao Yan, you should go and recuperate. We will enter the second level after you have recovered. Hun Li was seriously injured by me. Their strength will definitely be reduced. I am confident I can kill Hun Yu if we meet again. Shunner spoke with a cold face. She was really furious this time around. I. Xiao Yan nodded. He would naturally not let the opportunity to beat a drowning dog go to waste. Moreover, this drowning dog was the bastard, Hunya. He should not let him off easily. Xiao Yan shut his eyes after uttering that word. His breathing stabilized, and the paleness on his face swiftly disappeared. Once Xiao Yan entered his training state, Shunner slowly stood up. With the prior incident, she no longer dared to be more than a meter away from Xiao Yan. Her face was ice cold as the mighty Du Qi within her body surged like floodwater. Anyone who entered the range of her senses would suffer a wild storm-like attack. Xiao Yan's training continued for around an hour or so. After which, he slowly opened his eyes. Surging Du Qi fluctuated within his eyes as though it was a real substance. His hand moved and numerous slight scars appeared in space. The aura of the current Xiao Yan had undoubtedly been strengthened when compared to earlier. Six Star Du Zun. Xiao Yan smiled as he sensed the ocean-like Du Qi within his body. He could sense the soaring of his strength and the comfortable feeling brought by the increase of his level. The effects of four months of training has been extremely good. However, I wonder just how long it will take to break through to the seventh star. Xiao Yan understood that the heavenly tomb's energy cores were great nourishment. However, it was becoming more difficult to raise one's level at the later stages of the Du Zun class because the energy that was required to advance was so large that it was shocking. It was too difficult to reach. Big Brother Xiao Yan, congratulations. Shunner only heaved a sigh of relief within her heart when she saw Xiao Yan open his eyes. She sweetly smiled and uttered congratulatory words. With her perception, she was naturally able to sense that Xiao Yan's current strength had increased. This is only the sixth star. There is still a gap when I'm compared to Gu Yao and that Hunya. Xiao Yan straightened his body. He heard the crackling sounds of his bones from within his body and laughed. They have to train for much longer than you. They cannot compare to you at your age. Moreover, the two clans possess an extremely rich foundation. The way they have been groomed is something that an ordinary person cannot compare with. 
Shunar covered her mouth and softly giggled. If Big Brother Xiaoyan trained like this since young, you might have reached the Dusheng class by now. One cannot rely on this to reach the Dusheng class. Xiaoyan helplessly shook his head. After which, he stood up and looked to the energy light in the distance. He laughed and said, let's go. It is time for us to experience how dangerous the second level of the heavenly tomb is. Xiaoyan stomped on a large rock after uttering these words. His body shot toward the light curtain. Shunner, who was behind him, smiled and swiftly followed. End of chapter. Chapter 1346. Pursue and Escape. An unusually powerful energy pressure radiates from the enormous energy curtain when one approached it. What a powerful energy pressure. If one does not possess sufficient strength, one would turn into dust when passing through this layer of light. Xiao Yan paused outside of the energy curtain. His hand gently penetrated it and sensed a pressure. Finally, he cried out with some surprise. I, normally speaking, anyone whose strength is below a five-star Du Zun would not be able to enter. Shunner smiled as she replied. Even the weakest energy body in the second level will possess the strength of a five-star Du Zun. Those who cannot reach this strength will be delivering themselves to death even if they can enter. Just the entrance to the second level requires the strength of a five-star Du Zun. Would the entry to the third level not require a seventh or eighth star strength? Xiao Yan frowned and asked. This is more or less the case. Shunner covered her mouth and softly laughed. This energy pressure might be strong, but given Big Brother Xiao Yan's strength, you should not find it to be much of a problem. Let's head to the entrance of the third level before talking more. Xiao Yan shook his head. He studied the light curtain in front of him before extending his hand to Shunner. He smiled and said, Let's go in. Aye. Shunner gently nodded. After which, she placed her hand in Xiao Yan's hand and allowed him to drag her along. They slowly walked into the enormous light curtain. After the two of them gradually entered the light curtain, golden yellow and purple brown flames began to slowly surge from their bodies. They completely suppressed the powerful pressure that came from the light curtain. This energy curtain was around a thousand feet long. The duo walked for nearly ten minutes before they sensed the energy pressure slowly weaken. We are about to exit. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes and observed the end of the energy light a short distance away. He also sighed in relief. His footsteps suddenly quickened as he pulled Shunner and shuttled through this extremely thick light curtain. Huh. After exiting the light curtain, the energy pressure covering his body completely disappeared. Xiao Yan was just about to sigh in relief when Shunner's somewhat anxious voice swiftly appeared beside his ear, be careful. A chill surged in Xiao Yan's heart after the voice entered his ear. A silver glow flashed under his feet as his body shook. An afterimage appeared in the original spot. Bang! A couple of unusually sharp energy forces arrived with lightning-like speed after the afterimage appeared. A wild and violent energy tore the afterimage into pieces within an instant. Xiao Yan's figure once again appeared around 10 meters behind the afterimage. He frowned as he glanced around, only to see around 10 energy bodies suspended in the air. Their empty yet cold eye sockets locked onto him energy body. Moreover it is an energy body that possesses the strength of a five-star Du Zun. Xiao Yan's frown tightened when he saw these powerful energy bodies. Ten five-star Du Zun energy bodies had gathered together. This kind of lineup had never appeared on the first level. It was unexpected that they had ended up being attacked by such a lineup the moment they entered the second level. There is still a bloody scent here. Someone has purposefully lured them here. Shunner's body flashed and appeared beside Xiao Yan. She looked at the surrounding energy bodies before she knit her brows and spoke. It should be Hunya's handiwork. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes. The only people who could do this was Hunya's group, whom they had seriously injured earlier. Can you sense the auras of those two? Xiao Yan's eyes were locked oh the ten energy bodies around him as he asked. No. These two fellows are as sly as foxes. They probably fled after luring these energy bodies over. Shunner shook her head and replied. Let's first deal with these fellows first. Otherwise, the bloody scent here will lure even more energy bodies. Aye, let's finish the fight quickly. Any delay may result in an unexpected change. Xiao Yan's expression was grave as he nodded. The second level was indeed filled with danger. The ten energy bodies with the strengths of five star Du Zuns would cause even an ordinary six star Du Zun to flee after meeting them. Fortunately, it was not very difficult to finish them off when he and Shunner joined hands. Understood. Shunner gently nodded. After which, she twisted her delicate body and disappeared in a strange manner. 
Xiao Yan stomped his foot on the ground when her body disappeared. He rushed in the other direction with lightning-like speed. The battle continued for a short period of time. The two figures returned to each other in less than 10 minutes. They looked at the messy ground around them, looked at each other, and smiled. Each of them opened their hands. Ten pigeon-sized energy cores appeared. An unusually dense energy lingered around the energy cores. The energy appeared like a fog that possessed a spirituality. The eastern site is where the bloody scent disappears. Hanya and Hun Li probably headed that way. Based on what I know, the eastern site is also the location of the third level. What should we do? Shunara's pretty eyes shifted to the east. A chill flowed through her eyes. Let's follow them. These two must not be allowed to remain. Xiao Yan smiled. However, his smile was exceptionally cold. These two fellows had launched a sneak attack and had even set a trap here. Xiao Yan could not possibly act as though he had not witnessed these actions. Since you wish to play, I shall play with you until the end. The second level is far smaller than the first level. If everything proceeds smoothly, we will reach the entrance to the third level in less than half a month's time. Shunner softly said. Let's go. We will split these energy cores equally and absorb them along the way. Xiao Yan nodded. His body moved, and he transformed into a blurry figure that rushed forward. Shunner nodded and quickly followed behind him. Two figures, flying at the speed of light, suddenly paused far in front of Xiao Yan's group, where their sight could not reach. These two figures turned their heads and looked at the area far behind them. They have entered the second level. Those energy bodies have also been finished off by them. Hun Li, who was left with a single arm, spoke in a deep voice. His face was still pale, but his aura had stabilized. There was a great number of energy bodies here. They were good at healing his injuries. Let's head to the third level first and ignore them. You should recuperate from your injuries during this period of time. Otherwise, we will be no match for them. If we have calculated things correctly, those fellows will arrive at the second level soon. If Xiao Yan and Shunar gather with Gu King Yang and the rest, we will be no match for them. Hanya frowned and spoke in a dark and cold voice. Moreover, reaching the third level early will help our plan. At that time, we'll wait for all those fellows to gather and then finish all of them off at once. Hee <laughs> hee, everyone knows that the heavenly tomb is dangerous. No one will say anything if those people die here. A ruthless expression surfaced on Hun Yu's face as he softly spoke. I. Hun Li nodded. The corner of his mouth was lifted into a dense expression. They had ended up suffering a loss when they had attempted to take advantage of the situation. One of his own hands was lost. Given his character, he would definitely seek revenge for this debt. Let's go. I want to see whether they can follow us. Hanya coldly laughed. He waved his sleeve, and a black fog surged out. It entered the surrounding energy fog, while his body swiftly rushed forward. Hun Li followed close behind. Bang bang. The expressionless Xiao Yan waved his hand at the surrounding space, and a hot wind swept out, shattering the souls hidden within the energy fog. What irritating things. Shunar knit her brows as she watched these spiritual bodies pounce over. The outer appearance of these spiritual bodies was not much different from an energy body. However, they were controlled by Hunya. Normally, these souls hid in the fog, but now as soon as Xiao Yan's group approached, they would pounce over and self-destruct. Although the force was not strong, it was extremely irritating, and Xiao Yan's group had already faced a self-destruct attack over a hundred times during this one week. The injuries of Hun Li are more or less healed. Xiao Yan finished off the final spiritual body before twisting his neck. He spoke in a faint voice. Despite Hun Yu's group's miserable state from being chazzed, it was still possible to see scattered energy imprints, revealing that Hun Li's injuries were rapidly healing. What have our gains been during this period of time? 38 grade 5 energy cores, 25 grade 6 energy cores, 6 grade 7 energy cores, 1 grade 8 energy core. Shunar thought quietly for a moment before replying. Although they had been chasing Hunyu during this period of them, they did not forget about their aim to train themselves. Any energy bodies that they met along the way turned into an energy core that appeared in their hands. Some days earlier, they had luckily met an energy body that had reached the strength of an 8-star Duzun. Xiao Yan and Shunar had wasted a lot of time in order to finish it off. An energy body of such strength already possessed its own intelligence. The difficulty level was naturally far from what an ordinary energy body could compare with. Unfortunately, we have not met any 9-star dues on energy bodies. With your current strength, only an energy core of such a grade is useful to you. 
Xiao Yan regretfully lamented. Most of these energy cores had been absorbed by him. Shunur had only used an extremely small portion. Although he was aware that the, these energy cores didn't do much for Shunur, he also understood that she was purposefully finding excuses to give them to him. Shunur smiled and softly commented, five more days until we can reach the third level. The tomb of the ancestor of the Xiao clan, Xiao Xuan, should be there. Xiao Yan slowly nodded when he heard her words. Anticipation surged within his heart. He felt a premonition that Xiao Xuan's tomb contained some things that his ancestor had left behind for his descendants. End of chapter. Chapter 1347. Nine Star Energy Body. A rich energy fog continuously seeped from the ground of this desolate quiet large land, covering this endless land. Two figures slowly appeared at a certain spot within the vast land. Their eyes swept the somewhat messy ground around them. Their brows twitched slightly after briefly sensing the area. A trace of an eight-star energy body. It looks like Hun Yu and Hun Li killed it. Looks like Hun Li has completely recovered. Otherwise, they would not be able to finish it off with such speed. Xiao Yan grabbed some soil, rubbed it, and spoke in a feigned voice. These ten-plus days have been enough to allow that fellow to recover from his injuries. However, it is not possible to heal his broken arm. His fighting strength will be greatly reduced as a result. Shunara's pretty eyes contained a trace of caution as they swept around her. She softly said, if we count the days, we should be approaching the entrance to the third level. I, those two fellows have fled for over ten days like dogs who have lost hope. I really wish to see where our will run to. Xiao Yan stood up and coldly laughed. Shunara nodded. The high energy bodies in this place are more densely packed. Those eight-star energy bodies that had been difficult to find occasionally appear now, and I am sensing an obscure energy pressure to the northeast. Xiao Yan's eyes shifted to the northeast as he frowned and made a comment. I, an energy body that causes even us to feel a little pressure, is likely a nine-star. Ha ha, big brother Xiao Yan, it looks like this is a big fish. Shall we attack? Shunar sweetly smiled with her suggestion since she also felt something similar. However, this feeling was much weaker compared to Xiao Yan. This kind of nine-star energy body possessed a grade nine energy crystal within its body, alluring the two of them. After all, they had not obtained a single grade nine energy core during this half a year inside the heavenly tomb. How can we not attack? A grade nine energy core is not something that one can find on the second level just because we want to. Xiao Yan smiled. He looked to a spot far in front of him and said, this time around, let's just allow those two to escape. There will be a time when we meet them again. Let's go. Xiao Yan turned around and swiftly rushed in the direction of the spot where the energy pressure was coming from. Shunar swiftly followed behind him. The spot where the energy pressure existed was some distance away from the duo. The both of them flew at full speed for nearly 20 minutes before they gradually slowed. It was possible to see some seven-star and even eight-star energy bodies in this area. However, these energy bodies were all scattered around, appearing as though they were guarding something. A nine-star energy body already possesses an intelligence. They have power over the energy bodies and are able to easily control the others. This area can be considered its territory. Two figures hid behind a large rock. They looked at the energy bodies drifting in the energy fog in the distance as Shunar softly explained. Xiao Yan nodded and asked, are there any auras of other people around? No, there is only the two of us. Shunar smiled as she replied. Xiao Yan sighed in relief when he heard this. He smiled and said, since this is the case, we should quietly enter. The range of these energy bodies' perception is limited. With the strength of the two of us, it should not be difficult to enter without disturbing them. Aye. Shunar nodded. Xiao Yan smiled when he saw her nod. His body shook and an afterimage appeared. His body quickly disappeared. The space beside Shunar also became slightly distorted when she saw Xiao Yan move. Amid this distortion, her lovely figure slowly became illusory. Two gusts of wind quietly entered the energy fog. The slight fluctuation that was stirred along the way might have been sensed by the energy bodies who were moving back and forth. However, their low intelligence only allowed them to remain in their original area, but they did look around before returning to their wandering state. A breeze swiftly entered, and after around 10 minutes or so, it finally reached the center of this place and transformed into two figures. We have arrived. Xiao Yan looked in front of him after he appeared. He saw an area with many rocks all over it. A black metal armored figure was seated on the largest rock in front of them. A heavy and calm aura spread from its body. 
within the black armor was a pair of empty eye sockets. However, if one were to carefully observe the scene, one would discover that this energy body contained an additional spirituality when compared to the others that Xiao Yan and Shunur had met earlier. Nine Star Energy Body. A seriousness flashed over Xiao Yan's eyes as he observed this figure with an ancient calm aura spreading from its body. Although this energy body was much weaker than its actual self, it was still extraordinary. Moreover, this kind of nine-star energy body still possessed some of the intelligence and the do skills from when it was alive. Who are you thieves? Show yourselves. Xiao Yan's duo was observing this energy body, something they had never seen before, when a glaring light suddenly erupted from its black armor. The energy body clenched its hand, and a large axe half the height of a person appeared. This enormous axe furiously hacked down. An incomparably large wind tore through the air ah it rushed toward Xiao Yan and Shunur with lightning-like speed. What sharp senses! Surprise flashed across Xiao Yan and Shunur's eyes when they saw this fellow discover the two of them. Their bodies swiftly moved away, dodging that enormous wind. Bang! The wind violently struck the large rock where the two of them had hit earlier after dodging. The rock was instantly blasted into dust. The sharp wind left behind a hundred-foot-long gully. Attack! Xiao Yan's figure flashed and appeared in the air. A soft cry sounded, and a silver glow began to flicker under his feet. Numerous after-images appeared in the sky. His body also appeared in front of the black armored figure in the blink of an eye. His hand seals changed simultaneously. Open mountain seal. See flipping seal. Both of Xiao Yan's hands formed a different seal. Each hand contained a seal technique as fierce attacks poured onto the black armored figure. Clang clang. The energy handprint struck the black armored figure, and the powerful force shook the black armored figure until it took two steps back. Evil fellows, you dare to offend this venerable self. That black armored figure furiously roared after being forced back by Xiao Yan in the first exchange. The mountain splitting axe in his hand suddenly began to rotate like a windmill. A frightening wind smashed toward Xiao Yan's head. Clang clang clang. A golden flame spear was suddenly launched from behind Xiao Yan when the enormous axe was hacked down. The spear blocked the heavy mountain-like axe. Bang! Xiao Yan laughed when Shunur blocked the black armored figure. He clenched his hand and a heavy ruler appeared in it. Without showing any mercy, he viciously struck it against the black armored figure's chest. The powerful force sent the black armored figure flying like a cannonball. Although this fellow had the strength of a nine-star energy body, it was obviously no match for Xiao Yan and Shunur. Moreover, it merely possessed some intelligence, and it was far from being able to keep up the pace with Xiao Yan, who was rich in battle experience. Roar! The black armored energy body furiously roared. A majestic energy surged from its body and shattered the large rocks within a hundred-foot radius. Immediately, it used mountain-shaking footsteps to charge at Xiao Yan and Shunur. Let's end this battle quickly. Xiao Yan softly cried out as he watched the black armored figure charge over. His body charged forward with lightning-like speed and collided head-on with the big fellow. Axe splitting world. A vast and mighty energy continuously surged out of the black armored body. The enormous mountain splitting axe suddenly swelled at this moment. The enormous axe was lifted high in the air and the surrounding space collapsed at this moment. Big brother Xiao Yan, be careful. Shunur's expression changed when she saw such a powerful attack. She hurriedly warned him. Die. The black armored figure furiously roared. The heavy axe was accompanied by a frightening wind as it violently hacked toward Xiao Yan. Clang. The heavy ruler in Xiao Yan's hand hurriedly met with black armored figure's terrifying attack. However, the heavy ruler was sent flying the moment it came into contact, and Xiao Yan's body appeared to have suffered a heavy blow. His face started to pale while his body flew back like a kite with its string broken. Chi. While Xiao Yan was enduring this ferocious attack by the black armored figure, Shunur appeared behind it. She was holding a golden flame spear that she ruthlessly inserted into the back of the figure. A golden flame instantly spread and swallowed the black armored figure. Xiao Yan, who had been sent flying, revealed a smile on his face when he saw her attack. However, the smile on his face had just appeared when the ground beneath him suddenly exploded. Soil shot out and two dark black ghost-like figures bolted out. They appeared beside Xiao Yan in an instant. A dark chilly wind ruthlessly slammed into Xiao Yan's chest. He he, Xiao Yan, when you are chasing other people, you should remember not to get distracted by other things. It is very easy for the roles of the hunter and the hunted to reverse. 
The ferocious strike smashed into Xiao Yan's chest. The attacker raised his head and revealed a pale face. The attackers were Hun Yu and Hun Li, the two Xiao Yan and Shun Er had been chasing. At this moment, Hun Yu wore a chilly ferocious expression. Clearly, they had waited a long time for such an opportunity. Xiao Yan's face quickly turned pale when he sensed the duo's ferocious attack. However, Han Yu was somewhat stunned to find a strange smile form on Xiao Yan's face. It caused him to feel a little uneasy. I thought that the both of you were going to hide forever. Bang. Xiao Yan's dense voice slowly appeared. His figure exploded into nothingness with a bang in front of the stunned eyes of Han Yu's duo. We have been tricked. Han Yu and Han Li felt their heart sink when they saw Xiao Yan's body exploding. End of chapter. Chapter 1348. Purple Sky Demon Puppet. Leave quickly. Han Yu's expression changed the moment Xiao Yan's body turned into nothing. A cry sounded, and his body immediately turned around without any hesitation and tried to rush into the distance. The dark and gloomy-faced Hun Li quickly followed behind. The ambush that the two of them had put in a lot of effort to place not only failed, but they had landed within a trap set by Xiao Yan's duo. Since you have come, why are you in such a hurry to leave? However, the two of them had just turned around when a figure slowly appeared behind them. Looking at that smiling face, who else could it be other than Xiao Yan? Get lost. Han Yu's expression sank when he saw Xiao Yan blocking him. He shook his sleeve, and a thick dark black chain shot out like a poisonous snake. It emitted the sound of whistling wind as it shot directly toward Xiao Yan's head. Xiao Yan smiled when he saw Han Yu attack. His foot stomped on empty air, and the ground suddenly exploded. The 10-foot-large lava pillar shot toward the sky before violently colliding with the dark black chain. While Hun Yu and Hun Li were being blocked by Xiao Yan, Shunner quickly retrieved that 9-star energy core. Her body flashed and appeared behind Hun Yu's duo. She explained with a cold smile, we felt that it was strange. A 9-star energy body is quite rare. The both of you would not let a 9-star energy body go, yet why is it that the both of you did not do anything because you guys had planned an ambush? Hun Yu's and Hun Li's expressions became gloomy. Their eyes were filled with a dense cold. You have also become tired after fleeing for nearly half a month, right? Xiao Yan faintly laughed. We are indeed a little irritated. The sneak attack was merely an attempt to save our strength. Since this didn't work, we shall just kill you. Hun Yu's face was dark and dense. He turned his head and said, I will stop her. Xiao Yan will be left to you. Relax, I suffered a loss last time because I was caught off guard. This time around, I will hack off both of his arms. Hun Yu spoke with a ferocious smile. His strength was not weaker than Gu Yao. Adding the strange techniques of the Hun clan. It should not be too difficult for him to kill Xiao Yan, as long as Xiao Yan was not given the chance to unleash that extremely powerful Tian class Du skill, or that Fire Lotus Du skill. I. Hun Yu nodded. His eyes were cold as they looked at Xiao Yan after which, he suddenly turned his body. A majestic dark black dookie surged out. His body turned into a lightning that rushed toward Shun Er. Big brother Xiao Yan, be careful. Give me a little time. Shun Er's pretty eyes turned cold when she saw Hun Yu charging over. She let out a soft cry as a golden flame suddenly rose on her hand. She collided with Hun Yu without giving way. Xiao Yan slowly exhaled a breath of air as he watched the two begin to fight. His eyes were calm as he observed the ferocious-looking Hun Li. Hun Li was an 8-star Du Zun class. However, he had lost an arm, and his fighting strength had weakened. On the other hand, Xiao Yan's strength had risen by 1 star when he had exchanged blows with Gu Yao back then. Hence, it would likely not be easy for Hun Li to finish him off. Xiao Yan, you might have been able to defeat Gu Yao, but you might not be able to defeat me. I will definitely take revenge for my lost arm today. A cold black fog suddenly surged from Hun Li's body after his voice sounded. Numerous dark black chains shot out. They easily penetrated the air as they shot toward Xiao Yan from all directions. Xiao Yan's expression did not change when all these dark black chains came from every direction. He flicked his ten fingers and numerous purple-brown flames, with a dense white color mixed in, rushed out. They flew through the sky like fire rain and violently collided with those dark black chains in the air. They appeared like brilliant fireworks that exploded apart. If it's just an attack of such a degree, I'm afraid that you will have to take your words back. Xiao Yan smiled and berated him as he watched the fireworks explode. Hun Li's face was dark and solemn. However, he ignored Xiao Yan. Both of his hands formed some unusual seals with lightning-like speed. 
After the formation of these seals, one could see a black swirl suddenly appear on his forehead. The swirl rotated as an unusual symbol quietly appeared between Hun Li's brows. It is your blessing to get me to use the clan tattoo to finish you off. Hun Li's aura suddenly soared with the appearance of this unusual clan tattoo. Dense black fog saturated his body. The fog appeared to have become solid. His empty right sleeve shook and a dark black arm extended from his sleeve. If one were to look carefully, one would discover that the arm was covered with numerous ferocious and stern faces. This hand was formed from souls. He he, are you surprised? This kind of clan tattoo is something that your lost Xiao clan does not have the qualification to possess. Hun Li coldly laughed when he saw the grave expression on Xiao Yan's face. The members from ancient clans would usually not practice a strengthening technique like the Skyfire 3 Mysterious Flame, because their clan tattoos were the most powerful secret techniques in the world. Although these secret techniques would exhaust one, they would not harm their body even a little. Suffering a backlash from this secret technique would never happen. By being in possession of such a mysterious clan tattoo, those other secret techniques that relied on exhausting one's blood or self-mutilation in order to increase one's strength were not worth mentioning in their eyes. Xiao Yan slightly frowned. He did not expect this clan tattoo to possess such an effect. If Gu Yao had been able to activate his clan tattoo when fighting Xiao Yan, it would have been extremely difficult to predict the victor. All right, Xiao Yan. Next, I shall let you taste what is called true despair. The black fog expanded while Hun Li's ferociousness scar-covered face became even more intense. His aura had reached the peak of the 8th star of the Du Zun class, and it even seemed to vaguely reach the 9th star. This strength had far surpassed Xiao Yan. The black fog around Hun Li's body suddenly exploded after his words sounded. His body disappeared in a strange manner. Bang. The moment Hun Li's figure disappeared, Xiao Yan's fist, which was covered by a purple flame, was smashed toward the space behind him. Threads of black fog spread out from space just before his fist could make contact, easily blocking his fist. What a weak attack. The black fog surged out. In the blink of an eye, it formed Hun Li's figure. His eyes glanced at Xiao Yan in front of him with disdain, before he spoke in an indifferent voice. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change. First change. Second change. Third change. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air within his heart. He activated the Skyfire 3 mysterious change to its limit in an instant. When the Du Qi within Xiao Yan's body soared this time around, he suddenly sensed a vague itchy feeling from between his brows. This kind of feeling disappeared in a flash, causing him to think that it was just a momentary illusion. Bang! The Skyfire 3 mysterious change was unleashed. His palm twisted and escaped like a loach. At the same time, his body explosively pulled back. This is... Hun Li was stunned when Xiao Yan's body pulled back. His eyes stared intently at the spot between Xiao Yan's brows. When Xiao Yan had used the Skyfire 3 mysterious change earlier, he had caught a glimpse of a strange symbol partially visible on Xiao Yan's forehead. Being from the Hun clan, Hun Yu did not find that symbol unfamiliar because it represented the greatest enemy of the Hun clan back then. The clan tattoo of the Xiao clan. Earlier, that was. The clan tattoo of the Xiao clan? How is that possible? The bloodline of the Xiao clan has been wasted. How can it still possess the clan tattoo? I must have seen wrong. One could not blame Hun Li for acting out of sorts. A clan tattoo was something that only the eight ancient clans possessed because it was activated through the strength of the bloodline. However, the current Xiao clan's bloodline had long since been wasted. It was impossible for them to possess something like the clan tattoo. Who cares whether I saw it or not? This brat has too many tricks. I should kill him before deciding anything else. Hunya will not be able to hold on for long. That girl from the Gu clan is really too powerful. Hun Li's eyes flickered before a ferocious expression appeared. A mighty ocean like Du Qi erupted from his body. That frightening strength scattered the energy fog within a thousand foot radius. Xiao Yan, hand over your life. Du Qi surged while Hun Li stood mightily in the sky, appearing like a demon god. His body moved, accompanied by a cluster of chilly black clouds. He shot toward Xiao Yan with lightning-like speed. Xiao Yan slowly inhaled a breath of air as he watched Hun Li rush over. This fellow's strength had soared after borrowing the strength of the clan tattoo. He was even a little stronger than Gu Yao. If Xiao Yan were to fight head-on, it would be an intense battle. It is time to test the might of this thing. A light flickered within Xiao Yan's eyes. 
A moment later, the seal formed by his hands suddenly changed. Bang! The ground below suddenly exploded when Xiao Yan's hand seal changed. The soil spluttered as a golden light immediately pooled together. Numerous golden yellow figures stood just like statues within the deep pit. They were the sky demon puppets that Xiao Yan had strengthened in the lightning pool back in the empty realm. Qi. The golden light surged and gathered on the first golden figure. The light within the first figure's body was completely withdrawn. The skin on its body turned from a dark golden to a mysterious purple. It was possible to see golden light flowing under this purple color. After the golden light was completely absorbed, the eyes of the purple sky demon puppet were suddenly opened. A dark golden light slowly rotated within them. Its body paused and appeared in front of Xiao Yan in the air. Those eyes were indifferent as they looked at the black cloud rushing over. The golden light quietly flowed under its skin. Having absorbed the strength of ten sky demon puppets, the strength of this demon puppet, at Al reached a frightening level. End of chapter. Chapter 1349? Big Storm. The sky demon puppet stood in front of Xiao Yan. Its body was a deep purple color. One could vaguely see a golden light flowing beneath this deep purple color. This sky demon puppet was the one that Xiao Yan had personally refined. Before it had been refined within the lightning pool of the empty realm, this sky demon puppet was around the strength of a four-star Du Zun. Subsequently, it had been strengthened to its limit within the empty realm lightning pool. Based on Xiao Yan's estimations, this sky demon puppet's strength was comparable to a six-star Du Zun, and now it had absorbed the strength of ten other sky demon puppets that had reached the Du Zun class through a formation. Its strength had undoubtedly surpassed Xiao Yan. Soul-shattering dark palm. A dense black fog filled with cold air surged over from a short distance away. Black clouds began to churn as a sharp cry was suddenly emitted. Soon after, a small mountain-sized black handprint rushed from the cloud and ruthlessly smashed toward Xiao Yan. The space where this palm passed collapsed into dark black holes. Numerous spatial cracks began to spread from the empty space, creating a spider's web. A grave expression flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes when he sensed a frightening pressure that descended from above his head. Hun Li, who had been strengthened by the clan tattoo, undoubtedly possessed a strength that far surpassed him. If both parties were to fight normally, Xiao Yan would only have a 50% chance of victory. Moreover, this 50% chance was quite dangerous. After all, Xiao Yan could still go all out and fight when faced with an 8-star Du Zun. However, the current Hun Li had vaguely reached the ninth star. The gap between them had been lengthened, and even a Tian class Du skill would have difficulty closing such a gap. With the great strength of the Hun clan, Hun Li had the chance to practice an extremely powerful Tian class Du skill like Gu Yao. However, this fellow would definitely not use it until a critical moment. It so happens that I can use this fellow to test the strength of the Sky Demon puppet after it has been raised to its limit. The handprint was magnified in Xiao Yan's dark black eyes. He slowly exhaled a breath of air, and an order was issued from his heart. When a thought flashed through Xiao Yan's heart, the statue-like sky demon puppet in front of him slowly took a step forward. A golden light lingered within its empty hollow eyes. Its foot stepped on empty air as it transformed into a purple light that shot to the sky. After which, it violently collided with the enormous palm in an extremely shocking manner. Bang! A frightening wind swept over the sky when the two collided. An earth-shaking explosion could be heard within a thousand-foot radius. Crack. Wind surged and dense lines began to appear on the enormous handprint. The crack lines spread before the energy handprint finally emitted a sound as it split apart. Thump thump. The sky demon puppet and the handprint violently collided. The powerful force of the hand shook the puppet until it took over ten steps back through empty air. A dark black footprint would be left in the sky each time it stepped back, but after its last step fell, its body shot forward like an arrow. This time around, it charged into the dense black fog. Ha! Huh? Hun Li exclaimed out loud when the sky demon puppet charged into the black fog. All noise disappeared. A moment later, a frightening collision of fist and the whining sound of wind began to ring in the black cloud. Bang bang! Numerous unusually powerful winds shot out from the black cloud. Countless soul-screeching sounds hurriedly appeared. The black cloud had become thinner because of this intense battle. Xiao Yan's eyes were staring at the black cloud. A bright golden light continued to erupt from within. Even the black cloud could not completely hide it. After being strengthened, the current sky demon puppet could be considered complete. With this strength, it could even fight against a nine-star Du Zun. 
while a large battle had erupted within the Black Cloud, Xiao Yan had taken the opportunity to turn to the other battleground. Shunra was fighting Hun Yu there. However, from the way Hun Yu was suppressed until he was at a disadvantage, Xiao Yan worry was clearly unnecessary. From the looks of it, Shunar could kill Hun Yu if she was given enough time. Shunar's strength has likely reached the ninth star of the Du Zun class. Hun Yu's actual strength is only at the peak of the eighth star. The both of them are also members of ancient clans. There is not much of a difference in the key method and Du skills that they practice. He. If it is possible, we should kill these two this time around. No matter how one puts it, they are experts from the younger generation of the Hun clan. Their disappearances would cause the Hun clan to feel some pain. A cold smile flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes. He and Shunur had chased these two for nearly a month. They had exchanged blows with them a couple of times. Each party had obtained their own victories. However, these two fellows were as cunning as foxes. They ultimately refused to meet head on. Xiao Yan Shunur could not give up now that they had happened upon such an opportunity. Bang! While Xiao Yan's heart was thinking of completely finishing off these two fellows, an extremely loud explosion suddenly appeared within the black cloud. A frightening rippling force swept out and tore through the chilly black cloud. A golden light and a black dew key shot out. They entwined in the sky and formed brilliant fireworks. Bang! The black cloud burst apart and two figures flew out. They staggered through the air for over a hundred meters. Only then did they slowly stabilize their bodies. Xiao Yan's eyes shot over when these two figures appeared. He narrowed his eyes. Some vague handprints were visible to the naked eye on the Sky Demon puppet. It seemed that he had forcefully received quite a number of fierce attacks by Hun Li during the big battle earlier. Fortunately, the current Sky Demon puppet was no longer what it was. Otherwise, its body would have ended up exploding after failing to endure the attacks. The Sky Demon puppet was slightly damaged, but Hun Li was clearly more miserable. Not only was his hair a mess, but his clothes had been shaken until they were in tatters. A trace of blood vaguely hung on the corner of his mouth. Hun Li had clearly suffered a big loss this time around. Within the Hun clan, Hun Li had gained a fierce reputation because of his all-out fighting method. This kind of all-out fighting method might be useful when facing other experts, but it did not have the slightest effect against the Sky Demon puppet, since it had no sense of pain. It only knew how to obey Xiao Yan's orders. Both parties had exchanged one punch for another. One was a puppet while the other was a physical body. No matter how one looked at it, the physical body would be the party that lost out. Damn it. How can this fellow possess such a powerful puppet? Hun Li panted through his mouth. His eyes were furious as he looked at the Sky Demon puppet, which had withdrawn into the distance. He had not expected Xiao Yan to possess such a thing. After exchanging blows earlier, he discovered that the body of the puppet was like a tortoise shell, even though he was not afraid after having used the clan tattoo. It remained indifferent no matter how he attacked. The thing that caused Hun Li to be speechless was that this thing might be able to act indifferently, but he was not able to ignore its attack. This kind of fight caused him to feel quite stifled. Go. Xiao Yan in the distance smiled as he watched Hun Li, whose expression had a changed. He stretched his lazy waist and flicked his finger. The Sky Demon puppet immediately shot forward. It ruthlessly rushed toward Hun Li. That ferocious momentum caused Hun Li's expression to turn a little green. How unlucky. We have ended up meeting the Heavenly Tomb's great storm. Let's hurry and run. If the storm catches up, even an expert at the peak of the Dew's unclass will end up dying here. While the upper hand of the fight was gradually shifting toward Xiao Yan's group, a couple of figures shot through the air some distance away. A dense energy hurricane was whistling on the horizon behind them. It formed an extremely frightening domino effect that resulted in a large energy storm swiftly forming. Qi. Shunner's golden flame ruthlessly smashed into Hun Yu's chest amid the intense battle in the sky. The frightening wind shook Hun Yu until he spat out a mouthful of fresh blood. He staggered over a dozen steps back. Shunner was just about to give chase after injuring Hun Yu with a palm when her expression changed. She hurriedly raised her head and saw a brilliant line connecting the sky and the earth as it swiftly traveled from the horizon. This is the heavenly tomb's great energy storm. Shunner's eyes suddenly shrank as she looked at the frightening energy storm that saturated the air. She halted her body, tilted her head, and anxiously cried out to Xiao Yan, Big Brother Xiao Yan, hurry up and leave. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard Shunur cry. He sensed something and turned his head. He looked to the horizon and inhaled a gentle breath of cold air. 
Without hesitating, he swung his hand and called back the Sky Demon puppets. After which, he moved and appeared beside Shunner. The both of them rushed to the entrance of the third level with lightning-like speed in front of the stunned gazes of Hunya's duo. This is… Energy Storm? Hunya wiped off the trace of blood from the corner of his mouth. He turned his head and the corner of his mouth twitched. He no longer cared that his two nemesis had left. After exchanging glances with Hun Lee, they began to dash in a miserable fashion. They might still have a chance of surviving when fighting Xiao Yan's group, but if they were swept into the storm, they would definitely end up dying. While the duo began to flee in a miserable manner, numerous blurry black figures in the sky behind began to appear. In an instant, the originally dead quiet land, which was void of life, began to dance with a strange liveliness. However, these people had all turned around and wildly dashed away as perspiration filled their faces. End of chapter. Chapter 1350 gather. The dead quiet land was filled with the sound of a rumbling storm. The energy storm that spread across the ground swept over from a great distance. Even the space where it passed began to crumble. Its black mass was extremely terrifying. What is that? Xiao Yan followed close behind Shun Er. He sensed a frightening pressure that was being transmitted from far behind him before he asked in a somewhat solemn manner. The heavenly tomb's energy storm, a kind of natural disaster here its strength is extremely frightening. Even someone at the peak of the Dew's unclass will end up dying if he is forcefully swept into it. When the experts from the few clans entered the heavenly tomb past, some of the unlucky individuals would meet this energy storm and get swept into it. Shunner softly replied. It is unexpected that we are this unlucky this time around. We have actually met this thing. Normally speaking, an energy storm will only erupt once every few years. In any case, let's run first. The area affected by the energy storm is extremely vast. The entire second level will be within its impact area. Therefore, we must enter the third level in order to dodge it. Shunner explained in a worried voice. Understood. Xiao Yan nodded. He turned his head and looked far behind him. Two figures were miserably following them. They were Hunya's duo. However, Xiao Yan did not have the time to be bothered about them at this moment. Huh. There are others? Xiao Yan suddenly saw numerous black figures rushing over with lightning-like speed when his eyes swept behind them. After which, they caught one after another. Everyone swept their eyes around and were stunned. Ha ha, it is unexpected that brother Xiao Yan's speed is this quick and has long since reached this place. The two figures were comprised of a man and a woman. They were Ho Xuan and the red-clothed lady with a veil on her face from the Yan clan. At this moment, Ho Xuan's eyes were looking at Xiao Yan in front. His expression became one of joy as he increased his speed and laughed. Xiao Yan also smiled when he heard this voice. He cupped his hands to Ho Xuan's group in the distance before he smiled and said, Brother Ho Xuan is also quite fast. Ho Xuan smiled. He and the red-clothed lady swiftly caught up with Xiao Yan's group. Their eyes swept over Xiao Yan, and the two of them were startled. Brother Xiao Yan has advanced. Kiki, I was merely lucky. Xiao Yan laughed. Ho Xuan exchanged glances with the red-clothed lady when he saw that Xiao Yan did not deny his words. He saw some surprise in the other party's eyes. It was unexpected that Xiao Yan's strength had advanced after having entered the heavenly tomb for half a year. This speed was quite frightening. It seems that those two fellows from the Hun clan are behind? Ho Xuan's eyes glanced behind as he laughed. We have been entangled with them for a month. Unfortunately, this energy storm had spoiled our plans. Xiao Yan grinned and replied. Ho Xuan's brows involuntarily twitched when he heard Xiao Yan's words. His heart was a little shaken. He naturally understood what Xiao Yan's nonchalant words meant. Hun Ya and Hun Li were both eight star Du Zun experts and were extremely strong. The two of them could even fight a nine star Du Zun if they joined hands. It was unexpected that they were unable to gain an advantage against Xiao Yan and Shun Er. This energy storm has swept over the entire second level of the heavenly tomb. The only way to avoid it is to enter the third level. We are quite close to the third level and should be able to enter the it before the storm catches up if we speed up a little. Ho Xuan smiled and said. We might be able to take care of each other during this period of time. What do you say, brother Xiao Yan? No problem. Xiao Yan merely grinned. He would naturally not reject Ho Xuan's attempt to be friendly, especially at such a moment. An additional helper would mean that their chances of survival would be much greater. The two smiled at each other after coming to an agreement. 
Shunner and the red-clothed lady beside them did not interrupt their conversation. When their eyes crossed each other, they nodded slightly and shifted their gazes away. The four of them moved closer after the discussion was over. Their eyes cautiously swept around them. After which, their bodies rushed forward with lightning-like speed. It is unexpected that those fellows from the Yan clan have gotten together with Xiao Yan. Behind them, Hanyu was gloomy as he watched Xiao Yan's duo get together with Ho Xuan's group. His expression involuntarily became cold. Their current fighting strength could not compare with Xiao Yan's duo. If they were to gain some additional helpers, the two who would be in a bad situation would be them. Humph, all of you can be pleased for a little longer. None of you will be able to escape once we reach the third level. A brutal expression flashed across Hun Yu's eyes. His speed once again soared. Both he and Hun Yu turned into blurry black figures that swiftly flew to the entrance of the third level. The fleeing for one's lid continued for nearly half a day. The speed of Xiao Yan's group was maintained at the limit during this half a day. Hence, the exhaustion of their Du Qi had reached a frightening level. Fortunately, the few of them still had quite a lot of energy cores remaining in their hands. Hence, they wouldn't need to worry about exhausting their Du Qi for a period of time. Although their used Du Qi was replenished, their fatigued minds were causing Xiao Yan's group to feel a little tired. The energy storm and hot pursuit behind them was just like the sickle of a death god. None of them dared to slight it. Big Brother Xiao Yan, we are fast approaching the entrance of the third level. Shunner suddenly looked into the distance as they fled with all their strength. She opened her mouth and made a comment. Xiao Yan and Ho Xuan rejoiced when they heard her words. They carefully sensed in that direction and could indeed feel a vague energy pressure in the distance. Let's go. Increase our speed. Xiao Yan laughed out loud when he saw that the entrance was within sight. He waved his hand and his speed suddenly soared. His figure was just like a meteorite as it drew through the sky, disappearing within a couple of flashes. Hanya's group behind had also sensed something when Xiao Yan's group discovered the entrance to the third level. They braced their attention, and their originally tired minds became high-spirited as they went all out to be quicker. An enormous energy curtain poured down from the sky in the distance. It was inserted into the ground, appearing like a heavenly wall. At this moment, four figures were seated in front of the energy light curtain. One of them raised his head a moment later. He looked into the distance and faintly said, they have all come. Along with them is the energy storm. As expected. A silver-robed man and a burly-looking man sighed when they heard this. The former curled his mouth and said, Gu Jin, aren't you a little too calm? That is the energy storm. If we were swept up by it, none of us here would survive. Ha ha, it is not that I am calm, but it is pointless to panic. Plus, General King Yang is here. The worst scenario will likely not occur. Gu Jin faintly smiled as he replied. You. That green-clothed man, who had his eyes shut, involuntarily smiled and opened them when he heard this. He looked into the distance and said, the energy light is already solidified. We can only forcefully create a tunnel. However, just the four of us will not be able to perform such an undertaking. Therefore, we must wait for the others even though we have come first. You are afraid of being overly exhausted to the point of being unable to deal with the situation after entering the third level, right? Gu Zhen shook his head and laughed. The green-clothed man smiled but did not refute those words. He slowly stood up, looked into the distant sky, and said, Shunner and the rest have arrived. Chi. A couple of figures surfaced in the sky soon after his words sounded. They appeared in front of this energy curtain within a couple of flashes. All of them were startled when they saw the four people seated outside. Gu Qingyang? The speed of you four is really fast. Ho Xuan looked at the four individuals. He softly commented after being briefly startled. Big brother King Yang, why have all of you not entered? The energy storm is arriving. Shunner also slowly landed from the sky. She knit her brows and asked. The light curtain has solidified and must be forcefully broken. We have been waiting for everyone. Gu King Yang faintly smiled. His eyes swept over Xiao Yan, and a strange expression flashed across his eyes. He turned to Shunner and asked, are you all right? It's nothing. We have merely danced with those two fellows from the Hun clan for a month. Shunner shook her head as she answered. Those two dared to attack you? The green-clothed man frowned when he heard this. The usually calm Gu Zhen also lifted his head. There was a chill in his eyes, but the one who eventually asked her a question was that silver-robed man. They didn't gain an advantage. Shunner smiled. She turned her head, only to see numerous rays of light rushing over. They turned into numerous figures that appeared. 
Their eyes looked over. These people were those who had entered the heavenly tomb back then. However, they were a little miserable. Hanya and Hun Li had remained at the back. Clearly, they were afraid that Xiao Yan's group would attack at this moment. Now is not the time to fight with them. We do not have the time. Xiao Yan whispered when he saw the appearance of the green clothed man. The green clothed man did not ignore Xiao Yan's words. He naturally understood that the most important task was to break the energy light curtain and enter the third level. Everyone, all of you should be aware of the situation. However, this energy light curtain that leads to the third level has solidified. We must forcefully break it in order to enter the third level. However, this undertaking cannot be completed by a single person. Hence, if everyone wishes to live, we must join hands and break it. Otherwise, we will all perish together when the storm comes. The green clothed man stepped forward. His eyes swept around as he spoke in a feigned voice. Everyone's expression changed when they heard his words. They mused for a moment before slowly nodding. Those who could enter this place were no mediocre individuals. They naturally understood that there was only one path left for them, enter the third Lavello Parish. End of chapter. Chapter 1351? Ancient Devouring Insect. Gu King Yang smiled after seeing everyone nod their heads. He glanced at the energy storm in the distance and said, since there are no objections, let us all begin. This is my suggestion, so we shall be the first to act. Everyone will take turns later on. Of course, do not blame me for speaking bluntly. If anyone wishes to be lazy or have any ill thoughts, do not blame me for being rude. His eyes swept over everyone when he spoke. They finally paused on Hunya and Hun Li, but his smiling face seemed indifferent. General King Yang can rest assured. Everyone is now in the same boat. Whoever intends to sink this boat will not be let off by the others. A man with a lightning symbol on his forehead opened his mouth to speak. He was a member of the Lei clan, one of the eight ancient clans. Ha ha, thank you very much. Gu King Yang laughed. After which, he turned his head to Gu Zhen and the two others. Let's act first. Xiao Yan and Shunner, you will be the last. Xiao Yan slightly nodded when he saw Gu King Yang shift his eyes to him at the end. He understood that Gu King Yang had placed them last to monitor Hun Yu's group. All right, let's begin. That silver-robed man laughed. After which, he slowly walked to the light curtain with the other three. Du Qi whistled out of their bodies like floodwater, transforming into numerous unusually large Du Qi pillars that ruthlessly smashed into the solidified light. Bang. The offensive strength of the four of them joining hands was unusually frightening. Even though that light curtain was extremely hard, it cracked under this attack. Finally, a crack sounded, and a ten-foot-large hole, about three to four meters tall, appeared. Bang bang bang. Everyone sighed in relief when they saw that the attack was effective. Immediately, Gu King Yang and the three others erupted again. Their hands were wrapped in their bright Du Qi, and appeared just like sharp blades, as they were ruthlessly inserted into the crystal wall. Solid energy fragments continued to shoot out. The four of them were undoubtedly just like drilling machines at this moment. Majestic Dukey surged and the hole that they created became deeper. Huh. This kind of tunnel opening continued for ten minutes or so. Gu King Yang and the three others finally halted after perspiration covered their foreheads. They turned their heads and took a look. They had already dug a ten-foot-long tunnel. Everyone had swarmed in behind them and were curiously studying the surrounding energy crystal layer. This light curtain was over a thousand feet wide. Hence, it would require over an hour to pass through it even with the group continuously opening the tunnel. This undertaking would not be finished even after an entire week if there were only one or two people. General King Yang, allow us to continue. The two men from the Lei clan behind laughed when they saw Gu King Yang's group coming to a stop. They naturally understood that Gu King Yang's group could still continue. However, they were clearly planning to preserve some strength it was impossible for them to allow themselves to become completely exhausted. After all, the relationship between the eight ancient clans was not as friendly as one imagined. Caution would definitely form when next to one another. Ha ha, in that case, we'll trouble brother Lei Lu. Gu King Yang laughed. After which, the four of them pulled back. The two members from the Lei clan strode forward. Bright lightning glows gathered on their fists. Finally, they emitted a low cry as they ruthlessly smashed forward. Rumbling sounds once again appeared in the tunnel. The energy storm is getting closer. While everyone were advancing with the opening of the tunnel, Xiao Yan, who was at the back, turned his head and looked at the entrance of the tunnel. The energy pressure that was transmitted from the outside was becoming stronger. 
one could vaguely hear the whistling wind that had been created by the energy storm. It is likely not possible to barge into the energy storm. Shunner smiled and comforted when she saw Xiao Yan's eyes. Has the entrance to the third level always been solidified? Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. His hand suddenly rubbed the solid energy crystal beside him. This brilliant thing had been agglomerated from an extremely frightening energy. Moreover, it was compressed to an unimaginable level. Only then did it form such a vast energy curtain. I. It is rumored that the light curtain of this place had already solidified even when our eight clans first came here. Even after a countless number of years, the solid energy here still does not show any signs of melting. Shunner nodded gently and replied. Xiao Yan clicked his tongue and sighed. This heavenly tomb was indeed mysterious. The tunnel became longer while Xiao Yan and Shunner were chatting, but the two-man team from the Lei clan was unable to compete with Gu King Yang's four-man group. Hence, they had opened less than a 50-foot distance when they were replaced. Fortunately, there were still many people behind. One group after another took turns to step forward, allowing the energy tunnel to grow deeper. Bang! After this tunnel creation continued for another 10 minutes or so, an earth-shaking sound suddenly reverberated behind them. Everyone sensed the light curtain violently shake at this moment. The energy storm has swept over. This kind of activity caused the tunnel to immediately become quiet. Everyone's expressions were somewhat solemn. Such a large energy curtain was shaken by the energy storm. If they had still been outside at this moment, they would have immediately turned to dust. Everyone, let's speed up. Gu Qingyang knit his brows before opening his mouth to incentivize everyone. Although they had avoided the energy storm, it was still overly pressuring. The surrounding brilliant energy crystals might be beautiful, but they gave one an uncomfortable feeling. Everyone nodded slightly upon hearing his voice. Ho Xuan's group was opening the tunnel at the front, and they increased their attacking speed. Huh. With the flow of them, Xiao Yan and Shunur had also opened up the tunnel twice. Breaking the crystal layer was not as difficult as Xiao Yan had imagined. The crystal layers might be extremely hard, but it was not some unchewable bone to Xiao Yan, who possessed a couple of heavenly flames. Hanya and Hun Li had also performed some hard labor, while monitored by Xiao Yan's group. However, it was obvious that they were loafing on the job. Nevertheless, there was no time to make a fuss at this moment. No matter how unpleasing Xiao Yan's group found them to be, everything had to wait until they exited the energy tunnel. During this period of time, Xiao Yan's eyes paid attention to the two from the Yao clan. The ones from the Yao clan who had entered the heavenly tomb were the man with some mysterious lines on his clothes and the sexily clad lady. From the aura of the both of them, they should be at the seventh star of the Duzun class. Their fighting strength appeared to be inferior to Hunya's group on the surface. The gazes that these two people occasionally gave Xiao Yan were quite unfriendly, but Xiao Yan was too lazy to pay too much attention to them. The geniuses from the ancient clans always contained a faint superiority in their hearts. When facing an ordinary human, such a superior feeling would appear especially strong. Chi. The rumbling sound continued to appear within the tunnel. Xiao Yan shut his eyes slightly, but he had just shut his eyes when an unusual sound was suddenly transmitted into his ear, causing him to open his eyes once again. He looked at the crystal wall to his left before touching it with his hand. He had ended up discovering a layer of faint energy liquid seeping from it. This is. Xiao Yan was startled. His eyes swept over the crystal walls on both sides, and his body paused there for a moment. After which, he flicked his finger in front of Shunner's uncertain eyes. Two energy pillars extended from the tip of his finger. They finally connected to the crystal walls beside them. Xiao Yan's unusual actions had attracted the notice of the others. All of them looked at him in surprise. Even the two who were opening the tunnel at the front had halted. Their faces were at a loss. Xiao Yan? Gu King Yang frowned slightly and cried out. However, Xiao Yan acted as though he did not hear Gu King Yang's cry. He slowly lifted his head and looked at everyone. The blood on his face had greatly diminished as he replied in a dry voice, the crystal wall is closing. The tunnel immediately became dead quiet when Xiao Yan's voice sounded. Gu King Yang's expression had become much uglier at this moment. He created two energy pillars just like Xiao Yan. After sensing carefully, he did indeed feel a slight pressure being transmitted from the energy pillar. Bastard, what kind of a damn place is this? Everyone felt their head become numb when they saw Gu King Yang's expression. Someone even involuntarily cursed. Gu Zhen's face was grave. He quickly walked to the side of the crystal wall and touched it with his hand. 
He immediately yelled in a deep voice, there is something in the crystal wall. Bang. Gu Zhen's words had just sounded when he ruthlessly smashed the crystal wall. A crack line formed at that spot, and a dense snow white thing wiggled within it. A liquid-like substance seeped out before covering the surface of the crystal body. It quickly solidified and formed a layer of extremely thin substance energy. These things are secreting energy to repair the crystal wall. Xiao Yan inhaled a gentle breath of cool air when he saw the worm. A chill surged within his heart as he slowly turned around. His eyes swept around him. This energy light curtain that stood between the sky and earth had. By these small snow white insects? From the size of these small insects, if they wished to create such a large light curtain, their numbers. Just how frightening were they? They had barged into an incomparably overbearing insect nest. While Xiao Yan's heart felt a chill, Gu King Yang and the rest had focused on the snow white small insects. After which, their faces slowly turned pale white. Ancient devouring insect. End of chapter. Chapter 1352. Collecting remuneration. Ancient devouring insects. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard the mutterings of Gu King Yang's group. This is a small magical beast that lived during ancient times. Their bodies are extremely tiny, but they are endless in number. The ancient devouring insects, as their name suggests, are able to devour everything. After which, they secrete pure energy. Originally, this kind of thing should have gone extinct. It is unexpected that we have found them here. Shunner softly explained. This light curtain should have been created by these ancient devouring insects. Unexpectedly, we have barged into their nest. If they awaken, not even dregs would remain of us. Gu King Yang's expression was a little grave as he spoke. Finding these ancient devouring insects had completely exceeded his expectation. It is likely not just this light curtain. It might be possible that quite a bit of energy within this heavenly tomb has been created by them. Gu Zhen lowered his body, touched the ground, and slowly wondered aloud. Gu King Yang, are you planning on getting all of us killed here? Hanya laughed in a dense and cold manner. By bringing all of you into this place, I have, at the very least, allowed you to live until now. If we did not enter, all of you would have already died in the energy storm. Gu King Yang glanced indifferently at Hunya. After which, his eyes swept over everyone as he said in a deep voice, now is not the time to talk about this. The crystal walls on the two sides are slowly closing up. We must open the tunnel as soon as possible. Otherwise. Everyone nodded upon hearing his words. It was a little late to say anything now. There was a raging energy storm outside the tunnel. They would die if they pulled back and left. Remaining here would also lead to death. The only way to survive was to open a tunnel through. Everyone should cease preserving your strength from now on. Of course, I will not stop you if you wish to die. Gu King Yang spoke in a deep voice. He immediately waved his hand. Let's begin. I. Everyone nodded upon hearing his command. They quickly stepped forward, and the Du Qi within their bodies surged out without holding back. In an instant, a loud rumbling sound appeared within the tunnel in an intense manner. Bang bang. Amid the wild and violent explosions of this group of people, the speed at which the crystal wall was being opened suddenly increased. Crystals shot out and thick layers landed on the ground. While everyone was doing their best to open the tunnel, the crystal walls on both sides slowly began to wiggle. In the end, one could see the crystal walls on both sides slowly closing with one's naked eye. There's an increasing number of ancient devouring insects gathering. Gu Zhen's expression was solemn. There was an endless amount of liquid energy seeping out of the crystal walls. After which, this energy liquid rapidly solidified. If this continued, this tunnel would close before they could completely break through the crystal wall. It won't do to continue like this. Seeing this, Xiao Yan slowly shook his head and commented in a deep voice. There is no choice. We can only do this regardless of how ineffective it is. We will die if we stay. All we can do is go all out. Gu King Yang knit his brows. He also felt a headache. It was unexpected that they would be so unlucky to meet such a troublesome thing in this place. Xiao Yan also frowned. He cautiously looked at both walls. It was vaguely possible to see densely packed insect figures behind the crystal wall. Their numbers really caused one's skin to feel numb. We must hinder the rate at which the crystal wall closes up. Gu King Yang shook his head when he heard this. It's useless. Any attack is swallowed by these ancient devouring insect. Randomly attacking will only cause the energy that they secrete to increase. He waved his sleeve after uttering those words. A powerful Du Qi violently struck the crystal wall on both sides. 
All of them watched the Duke Key disappear when it came into contact with the crystal wall. Wave after wave of energy liquid began to rapidly flow from the spot where the Duke Key landed. A frightened expression finally surged into Xiao Yan's eyes when he witnessed the scene. These insects might be inconspicuous, but it was unexpected that they possessed such a mysterious strength after gathering together. These ancient devouring insects are hiding behind the crystal wall. Attacking them will not be effective. Those insects will also gather in front of us. A chill suddenly rose within Xiao Yan's heart when he thought of this. Wouldn't that mean they would be sealed to death in this place if that was the case? Gu King Yang was slightly startled when he saw Xiao Yan's face suddenly change. He seemed to recall something. His eyes swiftly turned to the crystal wall where he vaguely saw some tiny figures swiftly gathering. Bang! A fist that contained a powerful wind struck the crystal wall in front of them. This time around, the expected scattering of crystals did not appear. Only a half a foot wide dent appeared where the fist landed. Moreover, this dent had just appeared when waves of liquid energy seeped out and quickly repaired it. Those ancient devouring insects have run to the front. Everyone's expression became ugly when they saw this unexpected change. The panic even surged into the eyes of some people. This was really a blind alley. Bang bang. Some people refused to be misled. They once again unleashed two violent attacks. However, they did not manage to cause much of an impact. What should we do now? Everyone faced each other before their eyes gathered on Gu King Yang. However, he was also frowning at this moment. Their hearts involuntarily sank. He, Gu King Yang, what good tactic. Hanya's originally pale expression had become even paler as he spoke in a dark and sinister voice. I will give it a try. Xiao Yan knit his brows as he took two steps forward. It is useless. Gu King Yang sighed. The ancient devouring insect's devouring ability was too frightening. Even with their strength, they were unable to resolve the desperate situation in front of them. Xiao Yan did not show any reaction to his sigh. He clenched his hand, but he did not release Du Qi. Instead, a cluster of purple-brown heavenly flames with a dense white color was summoned. The temperature within the tunnel rose with the appearance of this cluster of heavenly flames. Go. Xiao Yan flicked his finger. The heavenly flame in his hand rapidly flew forward. It gently drifted and touched the crystal wall. Creak creak. A creaming sound was suddenly emitted from the energy wall when the two made contact. Everyone was stunned to see a two-foot-deep hole appeared where the flame landed. The remnant heat annihilated a countless number of ancient devouring insects. Looks like this is not a hopeless situation. These ancient devouring insects are unable to devour heavenly flames. Xiao Yan sighed in relief and laughed to everyone after seeing the effect that the heavenly flame obtained. Everyone quietly sighed in relief at this moment as well. Fortunately, they were able to find hope once again. Xiao Yan quickly opened the tunnel. A joy flashed across Hun Yu's eyes as he hurriedly urged. Xiao Yan ignored Hun Yu. His eyes landed on the red-clothed lady from the Hun clan and the man from the Yao clan. He said, you too, I can be in charge of opening the tunnel. However, I hope that the both of you will use your heavenly flames to deal with the sides and slow down the rate at which the crystal wall closes up. This job should not be difficult for the two of you. The lady from the Yan clan is called Ho Ji. She possesses the Red Lotus Yi Flame, which is ranked 8th on the Heavenly Flame ranking. That man from the Yao clan is called Yao Xing Ji. He is called Human Medicine in the Yao clan. His alchemist level is quite extraordinary. Shunar, who was beside Xiao Yan, introduced him in a voice that only he could hear. Red Lotus Yi Flame? Xiao Yan's heart thumped slightly upon hearing this. He had never seen a Heavenly Flame of this rank. Ho Zhu nodded without hesitation after hearing Xiao Yan's words, while Yao Xing Ji frowned. Nevertheless, he could only nod his head when he thought about their current situation. Additionally, Xiao Yan smiled when he saw the two of them nodding. He slowly continued, everyone should be aware just what kind of enormous undertaking it is to open this crystal wall. Using the heavenly flame is also very exhausting. I, alone will not be able to endure through it all. Hence, other than Hoya and Yao Xing Ji, I will require the energy cores in everyone else's hands. Everyone was startled when they heard this. Gu King Yang's group did not comment much as they nodded. The members from the remaining few clans did not object after hesitating for a moment. They were aware that what Xiao Yan said was true. They still felt tired even after joining hands. Even less needed to be said now that the job would be completed by Xiao Yan alone. Brother Xiao Yan might be straightforward, but his words are reasonable. These are the energy cores that we have gathered during this period of time. 
The two individuals from the Lei clan mused for a moment before tossing a cloth bag toward Xiao Yan. The cloth bag contained extremely dense energy. From its weight, there was likely more than a hundred energy cores. Seeing the duo from the Lei clan take the lead, the remaining people also began to take out the bags that stored their energy cores one after another. They then tossed them to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan smiled as took all the bags. After which, his eyes landed on Hun Yu's duo at the back. He spoke in a feigned voice, what about you two? Xiao Yan, you have already taken so many energy cores. Isn't it enough? Hun Yu demanded in a deep voice. His face had turned cold after seeing that he had failed to escape. Regardless of whether it is enough, I still wish to get a reward from you. Xiao Yan answered with a smile. It was a whimsical thought if they were thinking of getting him to work for them without any remuneration. Shunar involuntarily smiled when she saw this from the side. It seemed that Xiao Yan had decided to ruthlessly grab everything from these two fellows. Of course, I will not force you if you are not willing. However, please turn around and walk back. Hanya and Hun Li's faces turned green when they saw Xiao Yan show a please leave gesture. However, they would definitely be at a disadvantage fighting here, given that Xiao Yan's group was large in number. Hence, the two of them exchanged glances and could only clench their teeth. They took out a bag with great dissatisfaction and violently tossed it at Xiao Yan. Take it. Quickly get to work. The smile on Xiao Yan's face involuntarily became denser when he heard the furious voices of these two individuals. End of chapter. Chapter 1353? Opening the Crystal Wall. The smile on Xiao Yan's face was slowly withdrawn after storing the many energy cores into his storage ring. His eyes were grave as he looked at the crystal wall in front of him. At this moment, one could see some wiggling insect figures embedded in the crystal wall. Wave after wave of liquid energy continued to seep out of the wall. After which, it solidified and adhered to the crystal wall. You too, I shall leave the sides to the both of you. Xiao Yan turned his head and spoke to Ho Ji and Yao Xing Ji. Ho Ji nodded when she heard his words. On the other hand, Yao Xing Ji merely glanced at Xiao Yan. Although he did not say anything, it was obvious that he was a little displeased in his heart that Xiao Yan was issuing orders. Qi. Yao Xing Ji withdrew his eyes. He moved his hands and a cluster of pale black flames surfaced above his palm. A strange wind sound vaguely whistled when the flame materialized. One would feel an unusual irritation when this wind sound was transmitted into one's ears. It was as though this kind of unusual sound could stir one's emotions. This is all the eyes present slight over when they saw the pale black heavenly flame in Yao Xing Ji's hands. Their eyes were a little surprised. Something like a heavenly flame was far too rare. Even though they were members of the ancient clans, they could not simply see them just because they wanted to. Nine Serene Wind Flame, ranked 10th on the heavenly flame ranking. The corner of Yao Xing Ji's mouth was involuntarily lifted when he saw everyone's surprised eyes. He smiled faintly and introduced a flame. Nine Serene Wind Flame. Xiao Yan's eyes also paused on this black flame. Being an alchemist, he had naturally heard of this thing. All heavenly flames formed in an extremely bizarre. An example was the 3000 burning flame, which was formed within the empty realm. This nine serene wind flame, on the other hand, was born from an endlessly deep abyss. Dark wind never ceased blowing all year round in that place. Even an ordinary elite Du Zun would not dare to venture into it. This so-called nine serene wind flame was formed with the intense wind. One would not only require luck to obtain this nine serene wind flame. There was still a need to possess an extremely powerful strength. Based on Xiao Yan's guess, the price that the Yao clan had to pay to obtain this heavenly flame was not small. Puff. A slight noise suddenly appeared when everyone's eyes had gathered on the nine serene wind flame on Yao Xing Ji's hand. A deep red color slowly glowed within the crystal tunnel. Many eyes looked in the direction of the light, only to see a cluster of deep red bewitching flames slowly rising on a hand. The flame had formed numerous red lotus shapes. Following the appearance of this deep red flame, the nine serene wind flame on Yao Xing Ji's hand became a little dimmer. Even the whistling wind had been greatly diminished. Yao Xing Ji's face involuntarily twitched when he saw his own heavenly flame acting like this. Although he felt a little displeased, he could do nothing about it. The Red Lotus Yi Flame was ranked two places higher than his Nine Serene Wind Flame. There was naturally a gap between the two of them. Tisk tisk, I think that this should be the Yan Clan's Red Lotus Yi Flame, right? Gu King Yang looked at the Heavenly Flame in Ho Ji's hand. He could not help but smile and ask a clarifying question. I. 
Ho Ya tilted her head, but her pretty eyes shifted to Xiao Yan. Her eyes contained a strange feeling. Xiao Yan involuntarily smiled when he saw Ho Ji's provoking eyes. This lady usually kept very quiet. However, it was unexpected that she would appear this wild when it came to something related to the heavenly flames. After exhaling gently, Xiao Yan gently clenched his hand. Threads of different colored flames seeped from his finger. They gathered together and turned into a cluster of purple-brown flames with a strand of a dense whiteness in it. The flame churned and numerous dragon fire seedlings continued to rise from within the flame. There was a vague dragon roar being emitted. Roar. The red lotuses above the red lotus yi flame on Ho Ji's hand began to fluctuate when the heavenly flame in Xiao Yan's hand appeared. It felt as though it had become illusory. On the other side, the nine serene wind flame on Yao Xing Ji's hand, which had already become somewhat dim after being suppressed by the red lotus yi flame, had become even dimmer. Even the whistling wind being emitted from it had completely disappeared. Although your heavenly flame's ranking is not ranked among the top, your heavenly flame is comparable to that of the top six heavenly flames after your merger. However, you are likely the first since ancient times to perform the crazy act of merging heavenly flames. Hoya's pretty eyes revealed a fluctuation within them. A low and enchanting voice was emitted from under her veil. Xiao Yan was noncommittal toward these words. Merging heavenly flames might appear crazy, but it was not impossible. These words spoken as if he was the first to merge heavenly flames were likely untrue. At the very least, the owner who created the mysterious key method called the flame mantra had merged heavenly flames. All right, we are pressed for time. Let's act now. Xiao Yan did not have time to discuss the matter of merging heavenly flames with Ho Ji. After seeing that the other two had summoned their heavenly flames, Xiao Yan took a couple of steps forward and stopped in front of the crystal wall. He spoke in a deep voice, everyone should follow close. Do not get left behind. The heavenly flame in Xiao Yan's hand suddenly soared when his voice appeared. It began to fiercely burn as a deafening dragon roared. A purple-brown dragon rushed out of the flame. It ruthlessly collided with the thick crystal wall. Sharp dragon claws danced as the crystal wall burst apart, forming a large hole. Follow me. The tail of the fire dragon was connected to Xiao Yan's hand. He sternly cried out and violently stomped his foot on the ground. His body swiftly charged forward. Gu King Yang and the rest followed close behind him. What great flame control ability. Surprise flashed across Ho Ji's pretty eyes when she saw Xiao Yan transform the flame into a fire dragon, which began to open the crystal walls. She swiftly followed, and the deep red flame in her hand swept out at the same time and covered the crystal wall to the left. Its frighteningly high temperature quickly slowed the speed of the closing crystal wall. Yao Xing Ji on the other side had also begun to work. Although he was a little displeased that Xiao Yan was in command, the most important thing now was his life. He could be at odds with everyone, but he could not be at odds with his own life. Hence, he had also put in all his effort when he acted. The fire dragon whistled and rushed forward within the crystal wall. The frightening temperature had completely incinerated the ancient devouring insects hidden in the wall from some distance away. Despite this being the case, the ancient devouring insects continued to surge over like moths attracted to a flame. The enormous energy that seeped out also posed quite a great obstruction to Xiao Yan. Bang bang bang. Explosions continued to be heard within the crystal wall. The advancement speed of Xiao Yan's group had become much faster. This kind of exhaustion is really too frightening. While his body was swiftly advancing, Xiao Yan also sensed the Du Qi within his body seeping out like floodwater. His eyes had become much more solemn as he clenched his hand. A bag appeared in it. However, he did not take anything out. Instead, he grabbed the brag, circulated his key method, and swiftly absorbed the energy within the energy cores. After which, he poured it into the body of the fire dragon in front, which was doing its best to open the crystal wall. How much further is it? The expressions of Gu King Yang and the rest behind had become grave when they saw Xiao Yan devouring energy cores like a whale devouring plankton. The crystal wall was extremely hard, and the ancient devouring insects were blocking him. Even though Xiao Yan possessed a heavenly flame, it was still not as easy as he had imagined. It will take another half an hour or so before we will break through the light curtain. That silver-robed man mused. Gu King Yang slightly nods. All he could do was hope that Xiao Yan could endure. Ferocious explosions occurred along the way. The rumbling sound did not cease, and the atmosphere of the tunnel was quite tense. 
Their hearts would involuntarily pound each time they saw Xiao Yan absorb the energy cores one bag at a time. This kind of exhaustion was really too frightening. Bang. The fire dragon whistled and heavily collided with the crystal wall. Crystals shot in all directions as Xiao Yan's feet slowed. He spoke in a deep voice, there is no more energy cores. The faces of quite a number of people twitched when they heard his words. Gu King Yang mused for a moment and swiftly took out a bright energy core. He handed it to Xiao Yan, this is a nine-star energy core. I only have one. It's not enough. Xiao Yan received it without any hesitation, but he still shook his head. 10% of the Du Qi within his body was exhausted every meter they advanced. A nine-star energy core might be powerful, but it was still not enough to support them through the light curtain. I also have one here. Ho Shuin hesitated for a moment before taking out another nine-star energy core. Give me another three of them. Xiao Yan exhaled and called on everyone. Everyone became quiet when they heard his words. After all, a nine-star energy core was a precious thing. Ugh, if we end up dying here, possessing many energy cores will be pointless. That man from the Lake Clan sighed. He flicked his finger and an energy core shot into Xiao Yan's hand. In that case, I will trouble brother Xiao Yan. The two large men from the Xi clan faced each other before swiftly handing an energy core to Xiao Yan. Everyone's eyes involuntarily landed upon the Hun Yu duo at the back after the Xi clan handed over their energy core. Hun Yu's eyelids twitched when he saw their gazes. At this moment, he also understood that his words were useless. All he could do was clench his teeth, take out an energy core, and toss it to Xiao Yan. In order to obtain this nine-star energy core, Hun Li and him had put in a lot of effort for a prolonged period of time. It was unexpected that they would now have to hand it to a person that they did not see eye to eye with. Xiao Yan held the five nine-star energy cores in his hand and slowly sighed. A punch was thrown out. The fire glow on the fire dragon in front of him suddenly soared. It transformed into a fire figure that instantly penetrated through layer after layer of wall like a thunderbolt. Xiao Yan's group swiftly followed it from behind. This kind of all-out forward charge continued for nearly half an hour. The fire glow in the fire dragon finally began to gradually dim. We are about to exit. Xiao Yan gave a low cry as he observed the dimming fire dragon. He lifted his head and looked at the emerald-like crystal wall in front of him. Densely packed ancient devouring insects had covered their trail. Only by charging forward would they be able to truly enter the third level of the heavenly tomb. Ha! Huh. This is... Xiao Yan's eyes drifted just as the fire dragon was about to violently collide with the emerald wall. They focused on something in the middle of that crystal wall. There was a fist-sized creature emitting a pale red light at that spot. Looking from a distance, it appeared just like an insect cocoon. End of chapter. Chapter 1354? third level. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the thing that appeared like an insect before swiftly withdrawing them. The current him did not have much time to waste. The crystal wall here seems to be exceptionally hard. Even its color is even denser than what we have seen before. Xiao Yan's eyes revealed an expression of deep thought. He immediately inhaled a deep breath of air. After taking a step forward, his body merged with the fire dragon. He swung his right fist and a hot whistle buzzed within the tunnel in an ear-piercing manner. Bang! Xiao Yan's right fist swiftly merged with the fire dragon. After which, it was suddenly thrown forward and ruthlessly smashed into the emerald wall. A low and deep explosion suddenly resounded as intense rippling forces began to swiftly spread from Xiao Yan's fist, causing the tunnel to shake. Crack! A tiny crack line began to explode in the crystal wall in front of everyone's anxious eyes. This crack line began to rapidly spread. Finally, it emitted a bang in front of everyone's joyous eyes and exploded. Xiao Yan's hand suddenly grabbed at the crystal chips flying in all directions when the crystal wall burst apart. A warm jade-like thing landed in his hand. At this moment, Xiao Yan did not pay too much attention to it. He put it into his storage ring. Let's go. Xiao Yan's feet stomped on the ground after shattering the last crystal wall. His body took the lead to rush forward. Behind him, Gu King Yang and the rest, who had already prepared, followed close behind as they charged towards the enormous hole that Xiao Yan had created. Xiao Yan was extremely quick. Within the blink of an eye, he had already charged out of the tunnel. After which, an endless gray land appeared in his sight. This land was extremely vast. One could not see a boundary at a glance. There was also not a dense energy fog lingering over the ground. When Xiao Yan's group stood here, they were able to sense wave after wave of pure energy seeping into their bodies from under their feet. 
This kind of discovery caused everyone to feel stunned. A joy that could not be hidden quickly surged onto their faces. The third level of the heavenly tomb was indeed far from what the previous two levels could compare with. With this kind of energy pouring in, it was likely that they would be able to obtain a good training effect, even if they did not go and search for energy cores. Is this the third level of the heavenly tomb? The group had a joyous face as they looked around them. The feeling of having been reborn after a disaster caused everyone's heart to sigh in relief. Buzz buzz. While everyone was sighing in relief, the enormous light curtain behind, which seemed to be connected to the horizon, suddenly emitted an intense buzzing sound. This scene caused Xiao Yan's group to feel shocked. Their bodies began to rapidly pull back. Buzz buzz. While Xiao Yan's group was pulling back, wave after wave of a snow-white torrent rushed over to them with lightning-like speed. The wave was accompanied by a loud buzzing sound. Ancient devouring insects. They have come chasing after us. The expressions of Gu Qingyang and the rest immediately changed when they saw this wave. Their bodies began to hurriedly withdraw. Buzz buzz. The white torrents surged out in all directions. However, the flying bodies of ancient devouring insects came to a sudden halt soon after they had charged out of the energy wall. A puff could be heard as they turned into a cluster of white powder that scattered in front of everyone's stunned eyes. Puff puff puff. After one minute, a continuous stream of ancient devouring insects began to charge out of the tunnel without being afraid of death. However, they were repelled by a mysterious strength when they charged ten feet away from the light curtain. Suddenly, they burst into white powder. In the end, the powder accumulated in front of the energy wall until it was a couple of meters high. These ancient devouring insects. What are they doing? Everyone was stunned as they watched these ancient devouring insects continuously charge out, despite clearly knowing that only death waited for them. All of them began to frown. Could it be that they do not wish for us to escape? A person bitterly laughed and gave a suggestion. They would not go all out if their intention was to not allow us to escape. They are committing suicide, and it is a pointless suicide. Gu Qingyang shook his head and spoke with knit brows. A thought passed through Xiao Yan's heart while everyone was pondering what was happening with some doubt. His finger rubbed his storage ring without anyone noticing. Could it be related to the thing that he had grabbed from the crystal wall? Buzz buzz. The ancient devouring insect suicidal charge continued for nearly 10 minutes. The white powder covered the energy wall in a thick layer. However, it was fortunate that this kind of suicide did not continue on. After a countless number of ancient devouring insects had been turned to dust, the charging speed finally slowed before completely disappearing. Clearly, this useless suicide had finally caused them to give up. Let's go. Gu Qingyang shook his head and spoke after seeing these ancient devouring insects shrink back into the crystal wall. Xiao Yan also recovered when he heard his words. Suddenly, he turned his head and swept it around. Then he began to frown because he had discovered that Hunya's group had already fled, while everyone was stunned by the wild suicide of the ancient devouring insects earlier. Those two fellows are really cunning. Shunur had also discovered that the two people had disappeared. She bunched up her brows and commented. Ha ha, brother Xiaoyan, it is all thanks to you this time around. Since we have reached the third level, the two of us shall not continue to stand here for long. We will find a place to train. After which, we will quietly wait for three years to be up. Ho Shuin cupped his hands to Xiao Yan and spoke with a smile. Xiao Yan also grinned and nodded. He cupped his hands in return and said, In that case, I wish Brother Ho Shuin a peaceful journey. Goodbye. See you when three years are up. Ho Shuin laughed. After which, he led Ho Ji into the distance. After Hu Shuin, the Shi clan and the Lei clan said their goodbyes and left. Yao Xing Ji merely glanced at Xiao Yan before flinging his sleeves and leading that bewitching lady from the Yao clan away without saying any polite words. Within a short couple of minutes, this place had become empty after many people left. Only Xiao Yan's group still remained. Shunner, where are the both of you going? Gu Qingyang looked at the two, mused for a moment, and finally asked about their plans. Is big brother King Yang still not aware of where we are going? Shunner faintly smiled and replied. Gu Qingyang helplessly shook his head when he heard this. He looked at Xiao Yan and said, You really intend to visit Xiao Xuan's tomb? That place is in the deepest regions of the heavenly tomb. It is extremely easy to find eight or nine star energy bodies there. It is still fine if you meet one or two of them. If there are too many, it will be extremely dangerous. Moreover, there might even be Du Sheng class energy bodies in the deepest regions. 
you might really end up dying if you meet them. Xiao Yan nodded and said, I know. Gu Qingyang felt somewhat helpless when he saw that Xiao Yan had no intention of giving up. He hesitated for a moment before turning his head to look at the silver-robed man, Gu Zhen, and that burly man. He inquired, what plans do all of you have? Are you going to randomly find a place and train for three years? Do you think that is possible? Before we entered the heavenly tomb, I was informed by Elder Tong Shuan to protect Shun Er. I think that I am likely not the only one who has received such an instruction. Gu Zhen lifted his head and smiled as he replied. Me too. The silver-robed man shrugged his shoulder. After which, he looked at Xiao Yan and laughed, I have not been able to introduce myself. I am Gu Hua, the second general of the Black Submerged Army. In the past, I had been unaware of why Shun Er had chosen you. Now that I look at it, I have perhaps obtained some answers. I have also received that order. The burly-looking man, who appeared a little simple and honest, laughed, Gu Xin, third commander of the Black Submerged Army. We have you to thank for back there. Xiao Yan smiled and cupped his hands together. Gu Qingyang and the other two generals were not filled with enmity, especially after the events within the Light Curtain. They were clearly a little friendlier to him. Hence, Xiao Yan did not treat the three of them in a cold and indifferent manner. Looks like this is the case for everyone. Gu Qingyang spread his hands and laughed, since this is the case, let's travel together. With the few of us joining hands, nothing unexpected should happen, as long as we do not meet any Du Sheng class energy bodies. Whether you will be able to enter Xiao Xuan's tomb will all depend on you. The experts from our Gu clan once reached that place. However, we do not have a way in. No matter what method we tried, we were unable to enter. Therefore, you should be mentally prepared. Perhaps your ancestor does not want anyone to enter and disturb him. Xiao Yan slightly grinned. He nodded and said, my instincts tell me that I will likely gain something there. Hopefully. Gu King Yang was unconcerned. He lifted his head and glanced over the grayish-brown land. After which, he exhaled and smiled as he said, in that case, we should get moving. I really wish to see just how frightening the third level of the heavenly tomb is. Aye, let's get moving. Xiao Yan also laughed. After which, he exchanged glances with Shun Er. Subsequently, their toes pressed on the ground, and their figures turned into two rays of light that took the lead, as they swiftly rushed to the third level. Gu King Yang and the three others swiftly followed behind. Two black figures slowly appeared a great distance from Xiao Yan's group. They were Hun Ya and Hun Li, who had fled long ago. Gu King Yang's group has joined Xiao Yan and Shun Er. Hun Li turned his head, looked into the distance, and made a comment. Together, huh. It's just as well. It will save us some trouble when the time comes. Hun Ya indifferently nodded. A brutal expression flashed across his lowered eyes. Xiao Yan, the next time we meet, will be the time when we take your life. Just you wait. End of chapter. Chapter 1355? Ban Sheng Energy Body. A faint energy fog slowly drifted with the breeze above a desolate grayish-brown land. The hazy world caused one to feel an additional mysteriousness. It appeared that even the concept of time was lost to this quiet world. A couple of figures were seated around a bonfire at a certain spot within this land. The flame lit up the faces of the few of them. They were Xiao Yan and Shun Er's group. However, they appeared to be even closer at this moment than in the past. If I have guessed correctly, we should be reaching the deepest parts of the third region. If we are still going to travel tomorrow, all of us should be a little more careful. The deepest parts of the third level are the most dangerous place within the heavenly tomb. Gu King Yang lifted his head, glanced at the dim region around them, and spoke with a smile. We have not met anyone else during these three months. It looks like they have found spots to quietly train. Shun Er softly commented. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. Three months had passed since they had entered the third level. During these three months, their group had been hurrying to the deepest parts of the heavenly tomb. However, due to some powerful energy bodies blocking them along the way, they were finding it difficult to travel. Fortunately, the few of them had successfully charged in after joining hands. Ugh, this heavenly tomb is indeed not as simple as I had imagined. The last time, I had nearly lost my life. Gu Hua randomly tossed a tree branch beside him into the pile of fire and helplessly lamented. There was a scar on his face. It was left behind when their group had met with a group of energy bodies with an average strength of eight stars. That battle was miserable to the point of exceeding everyone's expectations. Fortunately, no deaths had occurred despite them suffering some injuries. Further in will be even more troublesome than what we have met with before. 
Therefore, everyone should be mentally prepared. Gu Zhen grinned as he spoke. Allow me to continue the remaining journey. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment before speaking. Even with the six of them joining hands, it was quite difficult for them to survive. If they were to enter the deepest regions, there was no telling just what kind of trouble they would end up meeting. After this period of living together with Gu Qingyang's group, Xiao Yan had formed a good impression of them. He did not want an accident to occur to them because of him. You should tell Shunur these words. Gu Qingyang smiled and replied. We have already come this far, so let's not say such disheartening words. As long as we are careful, there will likely not be any problems. Shunur's pretty eyes stared at Xiao Yan as she gently responded. Hopefully. Xiao Yan could only bitterly smile and nod his head when he heard a reply. After which, he lifted his eyes and looked into the grayish dark distance. The far end was where his target was located. It appeared as though he could sense the blood within his body flowing at a much faster rate. A northwestern direction. There are traces of four energy bodies present there. Three of them are around that of eight star Du Zuns, while one is at the ninth star. Xiao Yan's shut eyes were slowly opened while he was behind a large rock. After which, he softly uttered this information to the group beside him. They had formally entered the deepest parts of the heavenly tomb. The six of them had involuntarily become cautious despite their strength. They carefully picked their paths as they traveled. Even when they met energy bodies they could easily deal with, they would deliberate before attacking. After all, the energy bodies in were too frightening. No one knew if they would end up attracting even more powerful energy bodies once a fight begun. At that time, the energy bodies would surround them. The price they would have to pay was no longer just some injuries. Gu Hua and Gu Zhen have already gone out to investigate. They should be returning soon. Gu Qingyang nodded and replied. Chi. Gu Qingyang's words had just sounded when two black figures adhered to the ground. They used the enormous stone and the shadows of some trees as cover before swiftly appearing beside Xiao Yan's group. They were Gu Hua and Gu Zhen, who had gone out to investigate. There are traces of activities by quite a number of energy bodies to the south and west, and we have also sensed some extremely powerful pressures. We cannot take these two routes. Gu Zhen and Gu Hua slowly sighed in relief before speaking. In that case, we can only head to the northwest. Xiao Yan frowned as he replied. The western direction also possesses an extremely powerful pressure. This pressure has surpassed that of an ordinary nine-star Du Zun. However, there is still a gap to the Du Sheng level. Shunur suddenly whispered at this moment. Xiao Yan's group became quiet after hearing her words, stronger than a nine-star Du Zun, while weaker than an elite Du Sheng. It seemed. It should be at the Ban Sheng class. This was also an extremely troublesome existence. They were aware that the Ban Sheng energy bodies would possess many energy bodies guarding it. The Ban Sheng that they had met this time around only had four energy bodies around it. This was considered quite a small number. What should we do? None of the three directions are easy to charge through. However, the northwestern direction is a little easier. There are fewer energy bodies in that direction. It will not be easy to attract other energy bodies even if we end up fighting. If it is the other two areas, we will likely end up being surrounded once a battle erupts. Gu Hua surmised the situation. Xiao Yan revealed an expression contemplation. He exchanged glances with Gu King Yang, and his eyes shifted to the northwest. Their only option now was to take this route. Let's get moving. Try to be careful. Do not disturb the Ban Sheng class energy body. Although the Ban Sheng energy core is extremely alluring, we cannot lose our lives because of it. Gu Qingyang softly sighed. I. Xiao Yan also slowly nodded. After which, he exchanged looks with Shun Er. His body moved, and he transformed into a blurry figure that carefully rushed to the deepest parts of the heavenly tomb. Gu Qingyang and the rest also followed behind. Their careful manner appeared to be a little comical. The group of them quietly walked for a thousand feet within the energy fog before their footsteps slowly came to a halt. Four energy bodies were seated on a large rock a short distance in front. The figure at the middle appeared to be exceptionally powerful. It was a nine-star energy body. Xiao Yan's eyes were narrowed as they swept over these four energy bodies. After which, he turned and looked at Gu Qingyang's group. They quietly made some hand gestures. After a couple of months of joining hands, the coordination between them have already become quite good. The group nodded when they saw Xiao Yan's hand gesture. Their bodies slowly separated. Attack. Xiao Yan suddenly waved his hand when he saw that everyone was awaiting orders. 
At the same time, his body suddenly rushed forward. Within a flash, he had appeared in front of an eight-star energy body. His fist, which contained a dense purple-brown flame, violently penetrated the energy body. It shattered the body into nothingness in an instant. Bang! When Xiaoyan's lightning-like attack struck the eight-star energy body, the remaining two figures also burst apart. These energy bodies might be at the eight-star level, but their actual strength was not at this level. Otherwise, they would not have been able to win. Roar! That nine-star energy body appeared to have sensed something when the three energy bodies were killed. It suddenly opened both of its eyes. However, a furious roar had just been emitted from its mouth when four figures surrounded him in a triangular formation. A mighty dookie swiftly surged. After which, they turned into lightning that ruthlessly struck this nine-star energy body. Chi. Faced with the combined attacks of Gu Qingyang's group, this nine-star energy body had just emitted a roar when a puff sound appeared and it was transformed into nothing. A bright energy core dropped from it, Ab Shunner swiftly grabbed it. The group faced each other and smiled when they saw that their sneak attack had succeeded. After which, they swiftly suppressed their voices because of Xiao Yan's hand signal and then quickly rushed into the distance. The subsequent journey was smoother after they killed those four energy bodies. However, this smoothness did not continue for long. Xiao Yan's group's expressions had gradually become more solemn because they had began to sense a pressure slowly spreading from a short distance in front of them. Ban Sheng. The brows of Xiao Yan's group were knit when they sensed this kind of pressure. Their speed also gradually slowed. If they were unable to pass through this obstruction, they would need to cease mentioning Xiao Xuan's tomb. Everyone, be careful. Xiao Yan softly said. He once again walked some distance forward. His body was hidden in the shadows of a large rock. His eyes narrowed as he looked forward. The area where Xiao Yan's sight could reach was covered by an energy fog. This energy fog was not dense. A gust of wind blew over and caused the fog to scatter. Following the scattering of this energy fog, a thousand-foot tall stone mountain suddenly appeared in view. Xiao Yan's group's eyes locked on the top of the mountain when it appeared. That place possessed an enormous stone seat. A figure was quietly sat on it. A dark red scimitar had been placed in front of him, and a dense bloody scent radiated from the large scimitar. It appeared like the fog that had lingered over this mountain. What an overbearing aura. The expressions of Xiao Yan's group slowly became solemn when they sensed the overbearing aura that was spreading from those figures. Was this the energy body that had reached the Ban Sheng class? It was indeed powerful. While Xiao Yan's group wore solemn expressions, that figure on the enormous stone mountain suddenly got up and a bloody scent suddenly surged. We have been discovered. There is no need to hide. Be careful. Xiao Yan gently exhaled when he saw the energy body stand. His heart was unafraid as a fiery heat surged within it. Fighting an elite Ban Sheng, this would be the first time in his life. End of chapter. Chapter 1356. Saint Xu Dao. Gu King Yang's group nodded as they watched the figure slowly stand on the large stone mountain. They slowly walked out of the shadows. Looks like there will be an intense battle this time around. Gu Hua bitterly smiled. Fighting with an elite Ban Sheng was quite a crazy thing to do from their point of view. Although the elite Ban Sheng in front of them was merely an energy body, it still possessed a fighting knowledge and do skills from when it was alive. They might have the advantage of numbers, but it was really difficult to say just who would end up winning. Creak. Gu Xing's large fist was slowly clenched. A creak sound continued to be emitted. At this moment, his somewhat simple and honest face was covered with a seriousness. The powerful but calm majestic aura surged out of his body. Everyone should be careful. The opponent this time around is not ordinary. Gu Qingyang softly sighed. Intruders, all of you should be aware of the consequences the moment you step into this place. That figure looked down from the top of the mountain and looked over Xiao Yan's group. His feigned voice appeared like muffled thunder that rumbled beside their ears. Xiao Yan's group frowned. They looked at the human figure holding a large scimitar. This person was wearing a dark red robe. His expression was cold and indifferent. There were a couple of scars on his face. He vaguely gave off an extremely powerful, fierce evil aura. The fierceness and evilness mixed with each other. It was just like a fierce lion that had been bathed in blood, causing one to tremble with fear. Moreover, the thing that caused Xiao Yan's group's heart to sink was that the eyes of this figure were not hollow like the other energy bodies. Clearly, this energy figure possessed a great intelligence. A Ban Sheng without any intelligence was not frightening. 
The frightening one was a Ban Sheng with intelligence and battle experience. Bang. The feet of that figure stepped on the rock mountain as a frightening force erupted. Immediately, Xiao Yan's group saw numerous 10-foot large crack lines spread like numerous poisonous snakes. They spread all the way down from the mountaintop. In the blink of an eye, this stone mountain became shaky. Large rocks fell from the stone mountain one after another. That figure appeared a short distance in front of Xiao Yan in a ghost-like manner. His right hand held his scimitar as his eyes coldly watched Xiao Yan's group. The corner of his mouth slowly lifted with a bloodthirstiness. It has been many years since I have tasted human blood. I have almost forgotten what it tasted like. That figure gently twisted his neck and muttered to himself, it seems that I should introduce myself before I attack, right? Ugh, my name. It seems that I have not mentioned it in a long time. Although I sensed some human auras intrude in the past, they went and hid when they sensed me. Therefore, this is the first time that I have met humans with flesh and blood. My name, it seems to be Saint Shu Dao, right? Have you heard of it? The corner of Xiao Yan group's mouths involuntarily twitched as they looked at the dark red figure, who had lifted his head and threw his eyes at them. This person had been dead for hundreds or thousands of years. Who knew what he was called? Ugh, looks like I have been forgotten. This kind of feeling is really unpleasant. I should finish all of you quickly. My bloody blade doesn't seem to be able to endure any longer. That fellow called Saint Shu Dao shook his head somewhat disappointedly when he saw their reactions. His foot immediately shook in an unnoticeable manner. Be careful. Xiao Yan's expression suddenly changed when the foot of that Saint Shu Dao shook. He waved his sleeve, and a wind gushed out of it before violently smashing into Gu Zhen's body. The powerful force sent Gu Zhen flying. Qi. A bloody glow appeared from the space where Gu Zhen was earlier with lightning-like speed, just after he had been flung backwards. A deep gully formed on the ground. Huh. A surprised voice was emitted from the empty space after its attack missed. Xiao Yan sensed a gaze pausing on his body, causing the hairs all over it to stand. What terrifying speed this person has. Is this the difference between an elite Ban Sheng and a Du Zun? A cold sweat dripped down from Xiao Yan's forehead. His feet swiftly withdrew. After which, he, Shunner, Gu King Yang, and the rest gathered together. If Xiao Yan's strength had not increased during this one year in the heavenly tomb, he would not have been able to discover the attack by Saint Shu Dao earlier. This fellow is indeed difficult to deal with. Gu Zhen also quickly got up from the ground. He dusted off the soil on his body before speaking with a frown, you should be a little gentler next time. In that case, I will allow you to be hacked into two by him. Xiao Yan replied without turning his head. After which, he turned to Gu King Yang and Shun Er. If anyone were to mention levels in this place, these two were likely the strongest. Their ninth star strengths allowed them to overlook many elite Du Zuns. Shall we attack? I? Gu King Yang and Shun Er nodded. They exchanged glances, and their bodies rushed out at almost the same time. Their hands hurriedly formed many seals as they cried out at the same time, overturning land seal. Two bright energy light seals were swiftly formed in both of their hands. After which, they ruthlessly shot toward Saint Shu Dao. Small tricks. Saint Shu Dao smiled in disdain when he saw the two energy light seals shooting over. The scimitar in his hand slashed through air, and two large blade glows tore through the space and broke the two energy light seals. The remnant blade force rushed toward the two who had attacked. However, they hurriedly dodged the attacks. Bang. After forcing Shunner and Gu King Yan back, the ground where Saint Shu Dao was standing on suddenly began to sink. An enormous lava pillar violently spluttered out along with a frightening strength. Humph. Saint Shu Dao let out a cold snort when faced with the enormous lava pillar. His feet violently stomped on the ground. The enormous lava pillar had crumbled under his foot. Hot lava spread in all directions and melted the surrounding large rocks. Flame splitting tsunami. A figure swiftly appeared behind Saint Shu Dao as an enormous blade glow smashed down in an unceremonious manner. Clang. The scimitar in Saint Shu Dao's hand swiftly danced and formed bloody blade after images behind him, dealing with the ferocious ruler glow from behind. After which, the after images quickly rotated. They not only easily tore through the ruler glow, but they also cut at Xiao Yan, without its strength being diminished. Clang. The heavy ruler slammed into the blood-colored blade after images. The powerful force contained in the attack shook Xiao Yan's body back by over a dozen steps before he stabilized himself. What a stupid saint. Do you really think that you are a true Du Sheng? 
your skin is really a little thick. Saint Xu Dao did not have the time to give chase after forcing Xiao Yan back when Gu Hua, Gu Xin, and Gu Zhen quickly charged at him. They unleashed powerful Du skills and mercilessly struck at Saint Xu Dao. Ant like existences dare to challenge the prestige of a saint. Saint Xu Dao coldly laughed when he was surrounded and attacked Gu Hua's trio. He clenched his left hand before suddenly striking it forward. Three blood lights turned into three fierce tigers with lightning like speed. They emitted roars and collided with the three. Grug. After being firmly struck by Saint Xu Dao, the three of them spat out a mouthful of fresh blood. Their bodies were forced to withdraw. The three of them quickly took out an energy core and hurriedly absorbed it while they swiftly pulled back. Attack together. Gu King Yang cried out in a deep voice. He immediately flashed and rushed forward. Soon after, Shunner, Gu Zhen, and the rest once again attacked. The Du Qi in their bodies erupted to their limits. A whistling force cut one meter of soil off the ground. The many attacks that erupted in an instant caught Saint Xu Dao off guard. Soon after, he swiftly stabilized himself. The scimitar danced in his hand in an airtight manner. Not only did it block all of the attacks by Gu King Yang's group, it would also occasionally shoot out a sharp blade glow, which caused the few of them to be sent into a flurry. An elite Ban Sheng was indeed extraordinary. Blood Blade Chaotic Wind Tear. After initially being caught off guard when faced with the combined attacks of Gu King Yang's group, Saint Xu Dao once again unleashed his sharp attacks. His foot stomped on the ground, and his body suddenly began to rotate. It appeared like a blood-red tornado. The surrounding space also collapsed into a black hole in an instant. Bang bang. Sharp blade aura shot out from within the tornado in a lightning-like manner. It directly shook Gu King Yang's group until they flew backwards. Their bodies heavily smashed onto the surrounding large rocks. That frightening force caused even the large stone to be turned into dust. It is your turn. Saint Xu Dao turned his eyes to Xiao Yan by the side, who was preparing to find an opportunity to attack after forcing back Gu King Yang's group. He let out a cold smile as he strode forward and rushed to Xiao Yan. The speed of Saint Xu Dao was extremely fast and fierce. In the blink of an eye, he had already appeared in front of Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's face changed a little at this moment as his heart suddenly let out a deep cry. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change. First change. Second change. Third change. After this cry sounded within his heart, the Du Qi within Xiao Yan's body suddenly became wild and violent. Moreover, the itchy feeling between his brows had appeared again. At this moment, he wasn't able to pay much attention to it. The great heaven creation palm was already rapidly brewing in his palm. Qi. The scimitar cut through empty air. However, it suddenly stopped above Xiao Yan's head at this instant. Saint Xu Dao Zi's were staring intently at his brows. A frightened expression surged into his eyes a moment later. Xiao Clan's clan tattoo? You are actually a member of the Xiao Clan? End of chapter. Chapter 1357? Tu Du Sheng. You are a member of the Xiao Clan? The scimitar that contained a dense bloody scent suddenly came to a stop half a foot above Xiao Yan's head. Saint Xu Dao's eyes were frightened as he stared at Xiao Yan's forehead. His voice actually contained some fear. The great heaven creation palm, which was swiftly gathering in Xiao Yan's palm, also paused because of the strange actions of Saint Xu Dao. Xiao Yan frowned, and his toes pressed on the ground as his body swiftly withdrew. He demanded, How do you know? Saint Xu Dao's eyes stared intently at Xiao Yan's brows. The partially visible clan tattoo that had surfaced at that spot earlier had completely vanished. However, his heart clearly understood that this clan tattoo was definitely familiar to him, because this clan tattoo appeared as frightening as the devil in his distant memory. Didn't all the members of the Xiao clan die? Saint Xu Dao muttered. His eyes involuntarily swept to the deepest part of the heavenly tomb when he uttered these words. A deep fear flashed across his eyes. What happened? Gu King Yang, Shunner, and the rest also rushed to Xiao Yan's side at this moment. They looked at Saint Xu Dao, who had suddenly stopped attacking, as they asked with soft voices full of doubt. I'm not certain. Xiao Yan shook his head, but he did not abandon the caution in his heart. The strength of an elite Ban Sheng was too powerful. Even with many of them joining hands, it would still be extremely difficult to deal with him. If they were careless, it was even possible for their entire group to die here. Gu King Yang also frowned when he heard this. This Saint Xu Dao might only be an energy body, but it still possessed an intelligence and memories from when it was alive. Just what had caused him to feel such fear? 
this little fellow is actually a member of that Xiao clan. Given the incredible abilities of that person, he has definitely sensed him entering. If I kill him, I will have difficulty escaping that person's murderous desire in the future. Saint Xu Dao's eyes rapidly flickered. A moment later, the bloody aura that spread over his body was slowly withdrawn. His hand was swung and the scimitar disappeared. He glanced at Xiao Yan and ordered him somewhat unwillingly, go. Consider yourself lucky this time around. Xiao Yan's group was stunned to hear his words. They exchanged glances with each other. They did not understand why this fellow had suddenly changed his mind. Walk west from here. This narrow path is where many experts gather. You should be able to avoid most of them if you walk to the west, and you will then reach your destination. Saint Shu Dao spoke somewhat impatiently when he saw everyone's flabbergasted expressions. Thank you very much, Elder. Xiao Yan exchanged glances with Gu King Yang and the rest. After which, he hurriedly cupped his hands respectfully to Saint Shu Dao. Subsequently, they slowly stepped back. The Du Qi in their bodies remained in a state where it could erupt at any time. Only after having withdrawn by over a hundred meters and seeing that Saint Shu Dao did not do anything, they sighed in relief within their hearts. They quickly turned around and rushed deeper. Saint Shu Dao watched Xiao Yan's group as they left quickly. Only then did he curl his mouth. His eyes looked wandered to the deepest part of the heavenly tomb as he muttered to himself, Humph, you owe me a favor this time around. You should at least let me off when you come and clear up the place in the future, right? That fellow. He is really strange. Earlier, he was filled with a desire to kill, but then he suddenly turned into a nice person in the blink of an eye. The energy fog spread over the land. A couple of figures shuttled by. Gu Hua glanced behind him before speaking with a frown. He seems to have been able to identify that I am a member of the Xiao clan. Xiao Yan's eyes were cautiously sweeping around him as he randomly replied. Each time your aura soars, the clan tattoo of the Xiao clan appears on your forehead. He is a former top expert. How can he not recognize it? Gu Qingyang smiled and replied. What? Xiao Yan's body paused when he heard this. He turned his head with a surprised face and asked, What clan tattoo do I have? Don't you know? Gu King Yang's group were also surprised when they saw that Xiao Yan appeared even more at a loss compared to them. Gu King Yang said, This clan tattoo seems to only be able to appear temporarily. It disappears pretty quickly. Reasonably speaking, you should not even possess a clan tattoo. A clan tattoo relies on the strength of the bloodline to be activated. However, the strength of the Xiao clan's bloodline has been completely exhausted. Xiao Yan frowned. How could he understand it himself? His forehead had a flame imprint on it, and this flame mark had gradually paled after he successfully swallowed the bone-chilling flame. As for that whatever clan tattoo, he had definitely never seen it before. When my aura is soaring, I am using the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. However, what has that got to do with the clan tattoo of my Xiao clan? Numerous mysteries flashed through Xiao Yan's mind, but he did not find the slightest answer. This caused his frown to tighten. That Saint Shu Dao from earlier is not afraid of the Xiao clan tattoo. This thing does not possess even the slightest strength. A thought flew through Xiao Yan's heart. The reason that he had let us off is likely due to something else. Moreover, this thing should be related to the clan tattoo of the Xiao clan. However, just what was related to the Xiao clan tattoo in the heavenly tomb that could deter Saint Shu Dao, who possessed the strength of a Ban Sheng? It's Xiao Shuan. Shunur by the side suddenly came to an answer. Xiao Yan was still fine when these words were uttered. However, a chilled aura seeped from under the feet of Gu King Yang's group. Xiao Xuan had already died for so many years. How could he still terrify the Saint Shu Dao? The heavenly tomb is extremely mysterious. Since an elite Ban Sheng like Saint Shu Dao can survive through any means and possess his spirit from when he was alive, could Elder Xiao Xuan, who reached the peak of the Du Sheng class, also rely on this method to survive? Shunur slowly explained her reasoning. Gu King Yang's group was speechless. Their eyes immediately turned to Xiao Yan. Although Xiao Yan's expression remained calm, they could still sense that his heart was fluctuating intensely at this moment. Let's go. All of these mysteries will be solved when we reach our destination. Xiao Yan softly replied. The speed of their bodies suddenly increased. He transformed into a blurry black line that charged into the faint energy fog. Shunur and the others exchanged gazes behind him before quickly following. During the subsequent journey, Xiao Yan's group followed the path that Saint Shu Dao had pointed out to them. The energy bodies they were sensing had become much stronger. 
there were some who were even stronger than Saint Xu Dao. However, it was fortunate that Xiao Yan's group had avoided the scanning of these experts by following the gaps between the energy body's territories. Thus, they were not hindered along the way. We should have truly entered the deepest region of the heavenly tomb. Xiao Yan's group relied on the chaotic rocky terrain to hide themselves. They rested for a moment before Gu King Yang looked at the deepest darkest part and voiced his thoughts. It is indeed worthy of being the most dangerous place. The surrounding energy bodies appear to be too frightening. Even the nine star energy bodies can only be a guard. Gu Hua bitterly laughed. Being in a place where numerous experts were located, they finally discovered just how weak they were. They were existences that many young clan members of the Gu clan looked up to in the Gu realm. Here, however, they seemed to be ant-like existences. They needed to be careful even when they spoke. The others could only helplessly smile when they heard his words. This place was not a place that they should have come to. Being able to reach this far had already exceeded their expectations. Based on our speed, we should reach the tomb of Xiao Xuan that is recorded in the ancient books very soon. Shunara looked at Xiao Yan and softly informed him. This path is still quite smooth. It looks like that Saint Xu Dao has given us a lot of help. However, this place is indeed too dangerous. We should get moving soon. Xiao Yan nodded and immediately urged. I. The others agreed with these words. They hurriedly stood up. When they had just got up and prepared to once again hurry on their journey. However, a slight rushing wind sound had suddenly appeared in front of them. Immediately, two black figures slowly landed on a large rock. They overlooked everyone from above. Their eyes contained a mockery like a cat playing with a mouse. Xiao Yan, your speed is really a little too slow. The expressions of Xiao Yan's group suddenly changed when they heard this dangerous laughter. They suddenly raised their heads and looked at the two figures in the distance. Their faces sank a little. Hunya, Hun Li. He he, I wondered who it was. It is actually you two homeless dogs who had fled before. Why do you have the courage to appear now? Gu Huan ceremoniously ridiculed the two figures when he saw them. The gloomy-faced Xiao Yan quietly gave a hand signal when Gu Hua uttered these words. The Hunya duo had been hiding from them. Given their strength, where would they get the guts to openly appear in front of Xiao Yan's group? Anything out of the ordinary definitely meant that something was wrong. Since these two had dared to appear, it was likely that they had something to rely on. Relax, the ones who will be homeless strays this time around will definitely be you. Hanya strangely smiled in the face of Gu Hua's ridicule, and then Hun Li and him slowly withdrew. When they withdrew, two grey-clothed sinister-looking old fellows quietly appeared in front of them in a ghost-like manner. Du Sheng? An indescribable feeling of danger immediately rose within their hearts when they saw these two grey-clothed old men appear. End of chapter. Chapter 1358? Appear. As Xiao Yan's group's expressions changed, Han Yu's eyes became even darker and colder. He strangely laughed, do you feel that everything has changed? This relationship between the hunter and the hunted seems to have begun to change. Xiao Yan's group ignored his strange mockery. Their eyes were staring at the two grey-clothed old men in front of Hunya. Although the bodies of these two people were no different from an ordinary person, their eyes were filled with an emotionless indifference. Xiao Yan's group could still sense that these two old fellows were energy bodies. Just where did these two bastards find Du Sheng energy bodies? Why would such an expert help them? Gu Hua frowned and softly cursed. Gu Zhen stared at the two elders. A moment later, he shook his head as he said, because these two people are members of the Hun clan. Although they have already died, their spirits remain because of the heavenly tomb. It looks like these two fellows have come prepared. Gu Qingyang slowly nodded. He voiced his thoughts, let's separate and flee. Two Du Shengs. Even though they are just energy bodies, we are no match for them. We will not have even the slightest chance of victory if we fight against them head on. Everyone was quiet when they heard his words. It was unexpected that they would end up binding themselves this miserable because of these two homeless strays. They had to go through various difficulties to arrive here. Xiao clan. Has actually not been annihilated, huh? A grey-clothed old man's indifferent eyes paused on Xiao Yan. He spoke while everyone was quiet. Elder Hun Yao, the Xiao clan no longer exists. However, this fellow has relied on himself to reach this height. Therefore, you must eliminate him this time around. Otherwise, the Xiao clan might really end up recovering. Hanya respectfully explained the situation to him. He did not rely on the strength of the bloodline, huh? Surprise flashed through Elder Hun Yao's eyes when he heard this. 
He immediately nodded and said, since this is the case, he should indeed be eliminated. All right, let's not talk anymore. Kill them and quickly leave. This place is too close to that area. Things might change if we delay. The other gray-clothed elder frowned and spoke in a deep voice. Hun Yao's eyes rippled when he heard the other elder's words, causing him to nod. His foot slowly stepped forward. When his foot stepped forward, space itself fluctuated in an intense manner. Circular spatial ripples spread from under his feet. Flee! Gu Qingyang cried out softly when he saw Hun Yao move. His body took the lead as he transformed into a ray of light that shot to his left. Xiao Yan and the rest also rushed off on their own at the same time. Their directions were all different. Lock. The gray-clothed elder, who had yet to act, coldly smiled when he saw Xiao Yan's group fleeing. He suddenly clenched his hand, and all the noise within a thousand feet suddenly stilled. Time seemed to have come to a standstill along with it. The figures of Xiao Yan's group turned into statues within this stilled space. Their rotating eyes revealed a horror. Was this the strength of a genuine elite Du Sheng? They could control any space at will. Within this space, time or the space itself could be modified by them. Han Yun voluntarily laughed when he saw Xiao Yan's group forced to stop. If they could get all of these fellows to remain here, a great gap would appear within the younger generation of the Gu clan. It would be quite a big blow to an ancient clan like the Gu clan if they lost this kind of precious blood. Bang! While a pleased emotion appeared within Hun Yu's heart, an extremely hot golden flame suddenly erupted within the still space. The flame appeared like a phoenix rising from the ashes. The energy that erupted at that instant struck this stilled space until it began to ripple. Bang! A purple-brown flame suddenly erupted in the fluctuating space because of the eruption of the golden flame. As the frightening temperature rose, the offensive ripple that had been strengthened caused the entire space to become unstable. The Du Qi within the bodies of Gu Qingyang and the rest circulated when the space became unstable. They combined their strength and escaped their restraints. However, they did not separate and flee again. Instead, they gathered together with solemn expressions. After the fight earlier, they understood that fleeing did not pose any obstruction to these two elite Du Shengs. It would only cause the resistance on their side to diminish. Huh. Surprise flashed across the eyes of the two gray-clothed old men when they saw Xiao Yan's group rely on their own strength to escape the stilled space. You do indeed possess some ability. However, this is insufficient. Hun Yao coldly laughed. He whitened his mouth, and rolling black clouds surged from it. They agglomerated into black python tens of thousands of feet large with a roar. It swung its huge tail, and Xiao Yan's group could hear crackling sounds emitted from space itself. Empty space was shattered by the attack of this enormous python. Such a frightening attack caused the expressions of Xiao Yan's group to become much uglier. An elite Du Sheng was terrifying, and this was just an energy body. If they were facing a genuine Du Sheng, just how unimaginably terrifying would that battle be? Together. A rich feeling of danger surged into Gu Qingyang's heart when he looked at the enormous black python as it broke through the space and whistled over. With his strength, it was extremely difficult to block the attack of an elite Du Sheng. The difference between Sheng and Zun was so large that it could blow some people's minds. Everyone nodded when they heard Gu Qingyang's low cry. This kind of death-like danger was something that even Saint Shu Dao from earlier did not give them. If they did not join hands to deal with it, all of them would really end up dying here today. Huh. Xiao Yan exhaled a deep breath. The Skyfire 3 mysterious change was unleashed by him. Energy gathered in a lightning-like manner on his right hand. When faced with an expert of such strength, none of them were given any time to warm up. All they could do was go all out in order to gain the slightest chance of survival. While Xiao Yan was unleashing all his strength, the Du Qi within the bodies of Gu Qingyang, Shunner, and the rest also began to surge. Powerful Du Qi pressures lingered beside them like a whirlwind, shattering all the surrounding large stones. Great Heaven Creation Palm. The dark black light spot appeared in Xiao Yan's palm in a lightning-like fashion. It suddenly slammed to life in the empty space in front of him. Chi. The palm landed on empty space. Then a dark black light sphere quickly appeared and swiftly spread out. Silent destruction finger. While Xiao Yan had unleashed his Jian class Du skill, Shunner, Gu King Yang, and the rest also unleashed the same Du skill. It was the Jian class Du skill that Gu Yao had once unleashed back then, the silent destruction finger. An enormous dark black finger broke through the space behind them. After which, the black light sphere and the finger ruthlessly collided with the large black python that had torn through air as it shot over. 
bang. The frightening collision resulted in an earth-shaking explosion. A frightening energy storm swept out from the point of collision. The energy storm swept over the sky. An enormous black figure suddenly shot out from within. It ruthlessly slammed toward Xiao Yan's group. Upon closer inspection, it was the snake tail of that enormous python. Although this snake tail was covered with injuries, it had not been destroyed by Xiao Yan's group. The snake tail carried an extremely frightening wind pressure as it ruthlessly swung toward Xiao Yan's group. The sonic boom that was created blasted the ground apart, forming a countless number of large pits. A paleness surged onto the faces of Xiao Yan's group as they sensed the frightening strength of the snake tail. Despite so many of them attacking at the same time using Jian class do skills, they were still unable to block it. Let's go all out. Gu Hua clenched his teeth. The ground trembled intensely under the sonic boom. At this moment, it was too late even if they wished to flee. Xiao Yan's expression was gloomy. The heavenly flame in his hand was circulated. He was also aware that he had no other choice but to go all out. Qi. While Xiao Yan's group was preparing to retaliate, the space in the distance fluctuated. A figure suddenly flashed and appeared. With a wave of his sleeve, a gentle force lifted Xiao Yan's group, pulling them to the deepest part of the heavenly tomb with lightning-like speed. Saint Xu Dao? The reinforcement that suddenly arrived caused Xiao Yan's group to be startled. Surprise surged on Xiao Yan's face when he saw the person who had intervened. No one had expected Saint Xu Dao to rescue them. Damn it. Just where did these bastards come from? If that fellow discovers that you were killed here, he will definitely wash everything in blood again. That Saint Xu Dao ignored Xiao Yan's group. His body shot away while he was cursing with a gloomy expression. Humph, a mere Ban Sheng dares to act atrociously in front of the two of us? Are you seeking death? The sudden unexpected change surprised the attacking duo. They quickly recovered and furiously laughed. They suddenly turned their bodies and cried out, Lock! Saint Xu Dao's body suddenly stilled after the angry cries of those two sounded. Surprise also surged onto everyone's faces at this moment. Two elite Du Shengs were indeed at a level that was far from what he could compare with. You dare to meddle with this little ability. Hun Diao's two-man team coldly laughed. Their feet stepped on the empty space as they appeared in front of Saint Xu Dao. Their hands were curled as they ruthlessly slammed toward his chest. If just one fist were to land, Saint Xu Dao would be smashed until nothing remained. Qi. However, Hun Diao's group's fists were still half a foot from Saint Xu Dao when they suddenly stopped. Who is it? The Du Sheng duo's expressions changed as they furiously cried out after their fists were halted. It looks like there are still remaining members of the Hun clan in this heavenly tomb. A faint voice that was filled with an ancient aura slowly reverberated through everything when the furious cry of the Hun Diao duo sounded. The space where the Hun Diao duo had stilled started to collapse when this voice sounded. Zhao Xuan? A frightened expression surged onto the faces of Hun Diao and the other elder when they heard this voice. End of chapter. Chapter 1359? Xiao Xuan. Xiao Xuan? Xiao Yan's body suddenly trembled when he heard the exclamations of the Hun Diao duo. The blood flowing within his body suddenly fluctuated in a strange manner. This ripple was extremely familiar. The empty space in front of Xiao Yan's group formed some ripples in front of everyone's eyes as a figure in pale green clothes quietly appeared. The appearance of this figure did not attract any unnatural phenomenon, but it appeared as though everyone present could not endure a punch or a kick from this person. Hun Clan. What a hateful bloodline. The figure appeared and raised his head, revealing a face that did not appear very handsome, but it caused one to feel that there was something unique. His black hair reached his shoulders, and a pair of ink-like eyes were as deep as black holes with an unusual wisdom. It was filled with a charm that caused one to feel intoxicated. Xiao Xuan. The Ho Diao duo's eyes were staring at the unusually familiar face as shock and horror flashed across their eyes. Although they possessed an extremely great strength, the man in front of them had once stood at the peak of the continent. Only a few across the entire continent could fight with him. Elder Hun Diao. Hanya was a little frightened as he watched this stranger suddenly appear. Although he was not acquainted with this person, he still vaguely sensed the feeling of death. Xiao Xuan may be very strong, but he is suppressed by the heavenly tomb. It is impossible for him to leave the tomb any time he likes. He can only leave it once every ten years, and the ten years have passed. He is not able to reveal himself. Hun Diao inhaled a deep breath of air. He suppressed the fear in his heart as he softly reasoned. In other words, the Xiao Xuan in front is not his actual self? 
The other gray clothed old man's eyes flickered as he asked. It is likely only just a show. Hun Diao coldly replied. His boldness had become more apparent. Xiao Xuan might be powerful, but it was impossible for him to scare off the two of them with just a shadow. You do indeed possess good eyesight. The green clothed man smiled. His black eyes looked at the Hun duo in front as he said, however, the two of you have overestimated yourselves. Two one-star Du Sheng do not even possess the qualifications to speak to me. That green clothed man slowly lifted his hand after speaking. He gently clenched it while facing the Hun duo. Shatter. After this word was spat from the green clothed man, Xiao Yan's group was immediately startled to see the space within a 10,000-foot radius collapse. A dark invisible hand suddenly formed. After which, it randomly slammed into the Hun duo. Bang bang bang. The 10,000-foot large dark black hand gently slammed down as the land appeared to experience an earthquake. It shook as numerous crack lines spread across the ground and extended into the distance. This fiend, why has he come out again? Such a large commotion was naturally sensed by some powerful energy bodies. However, their expressions changed when they sensed that familiar aura. They hesitated for a moment before hiding even the tiniest drop of their auras. Their bodies gradually became illusory before hiding under the land. How is this possible? The eyes of the Hun duo were somewhat stunned as they watched space collapse. Even they were unable to endure such a frightening palm. Run. Faced with the collapsed space and the enormous black hand that was swiftly approaching, the Hun duo sniffed the scent of death that caused their bodies to tremble. Their faces turned pale and they could not be bothered with anything else. One of them grabbed Hunya, while the other grabbed Hun Li before turning to flee. Bang. However, their speed did not allow them to smoothly escape. Space itself seemed to be shattered by the large black hand. Hence, the two of them had just traveled a thousand feet when the attack suddenly arrived. Bang. The large hand did not truly strike the two of them. Instead, a frightening wind penetrated space when it was a thousand feet away from the fleeing figures before landing on the bodies of the Hun elders. Their bodies violently shook when faced with this frightening wind. They did not even manage to scream when they emitted a bang and exploded into nothing. The remaining force in the hands of the two elders violently tossed away Hun Yu and Hun Li before they were blasted into nothingness. They flew far into the distance. Xiao Xuan glanced at Hun Yu and Hun Li, who had been tossed away, but he did not stop them. Eight star Du Zuns were not even comparable to ants in his eyes. Rumble. The enormous hand shattered Hun elders before it smashed into the ground, causing the land to tremble. Dust scattered from all over before settling a moment later. A 10,000-foot large and seemingly bottomless gully appeared in front of Xiao Yan's group in a spectacular manner. Hiss. Xiao Yan's group inhaled a deep breath of cool air as they looked at this bottomless pit. Such a frightening destructive strength was a little too terrifying. This fiend is still as vicious with his attacks. Saint Xu Dao looked at the two Du Shengs, who had been turned into nothing by just a palm of this green-clothed man. He involuntarily swallowed a mouthful of saliva, but he also rejoiced a little. Fortunately, he had intervened today. The green-clothed man in the sky randomly finished off the Hun elders. Only then did he turn around. His eyes leaped over Gu King Yang and the rest, before finally landing on Xiao Yan. The blood within Xiao Yan's body appeared to flow at a faster rate when the eyes of the green-clothed man landed on him. He forcefully endured the excitement in his heart as he lifted his head. Two pairs of dark black eyes met. Their intertwining eyes lasted for some time. Finally, a smile surfaced on the green clothed man's face. The smile was not deep, but it gave Xiao Yan a familiar feeling of being connected by blood. Someone from the Xiao clan has finally come. I have not waited for so many years in vain. The green clothed man stepped through empty space and slowly appeared in front of Xiao Yan. He spoke in a soft voice. That voice contained some pride and relief. This descendant Xiao Yan greets ancestor. Xiao Yan was finally unable to endure the excitement in his heart when he heard the words of the green clothed man. He knelt on empty air and gave his ancestor the most respectful bow of the Xiao clan. Ha ha, Xiao Yan. A good name. The green clothed man slightly smiled. He gently helped Xiao Yan to his feet and patted his head. He said, I sensed your presence the moment you entered the heavenly tomb. Your performance along the way has been quite good. Xiao Yan rubbed his head. He was aware of just what kind of great person his ancestor was back then. Being able to obtain such a good evaluation from him was likely a very difficult task. This junior Gu King Yang greets Elder Xiao Xuan. 
Gu Qingyang, Shunner, and the rest gave Xiao Xuan a respectful bow and deferentially greeted him. They were clearly aware in their hearts that even the clan head of the Gu clan would still have to treat this person in front of them with respect. Members of the Gu clan, huh? Xiao Xuan smiled. He glanced at Gu Qingyang's group and said, your Gu clan did not fully do as per the agreement that you made with me back then. Gu Qingyang and the rest felt some cold perspiration form on their foreheads when they heard his chastising words. They hurriedly replied, Elder Xiao Xuan, merely a small portion of the clan didn't. The clan head has always adhered to the agreement even until now. Xiao Xuan was noncommittal. His eyes suddenly turned to Shunar by the side as he commented, your bloodline is very similar to Gu Yuan. Gu Yuan is my father. Shunar respectfully replied. Her pretty eyes were somewhat uncertain as they looked at Xiao Xuan. He could be considered Xiao Yan's elder and possessed absolute authority. She naturally did not wish to give the other party a poor impression of her on their first meeting. She did not wish to do this even though the current Xiao Xuan was no longer a truly living person. You are actually that fellow's daughter. No wonder you possess the divine bloodline. It is really the case of the next generation being more outstanding than the previous. Xiao Xuan nodded. His eyes suddenly swept over Xiao Yan and Shunar, before saying to no one in particular, however, my Xiao clan still gained the advantage. Shunar's pretty face flushed red with embarrassment after hearing the meaning in Xiao Xuan words. You should return first. In the future, you will continue to exist in the heavenly tomb. Xiao Xuan glanced at Saint Xu Dao and indifferently spoke. Thank you Elder Xiao Xuan. Saint Xu Dao rejoiced upon hearing this. He hurriedly cupped his hands in a respectful manner. There were too many energy bodies in this heavenly tomb, and quite a number of them were stronger than him. However, with Xiao Xuan's words, those powerful existences would not dare to target him. After uttering those words, Saint Xu Dao wisely decided not to stay any longer. He cupped his hands to Xiao Yan's group and then turned into a ray of light that hurried into the distance. Let's head to the tomb. Due to the heavenly tomb, I cannot leave often. The thing that you are seeing now is just a shadow that I have projected. Xiao Xuan explained when he saw Saint Dao Xu leave. The hearts of Gu King Yang's group were shocked when they heard these words. A mere shadow was able to kill two one-star Du Sheng energy bodies with the raise of a hand. If this was his actual body, would it not possess a frightening strength that could annihilate the world? I think that you have many things that you are uncertain about, right? Follow me. I have waited for too long for this day. Xiao Xuan's eyes shifted to Xiao Yan. He smiled slightly and spoke in a soft voice. An excitement rose within Xiao Yan's heart when he heard these words. He had been waiting for this day for a long time. End of chapter. Chapter 1360. Bloodline Inheritance. Xiao Yan's group followed Xiao Xuan to the deepest region of the heavenly tomb before they gradually came to a stop. Their surroundings were as black as ink because there was almost no light. One appeared to be standing in the empty realm as a kind of lost panicked feeling rose within one's heart. This is the deepest part of the heavenly tomb. Xiao Xuan smiled as he spoke. He pointed to an ancient stone tablet in front. This tablet stood in this dark black region in a lonely manner. It was quiet and lonely, appearing as though it had existed for a long time. This is my tomb. Xiao Yan's eyes followed the direction Xiao Xuan had indicated and saw an ancient stone tablet. Even though a countless number of years had passed, the stone tablet still emitted an aura that could not be described. This kind of aura was not intense, but it caused one's soul to feel a flutter that could not be stopped. The four of you should train outside the stone tablet. This place is where the energy in the heavenly tomb is the most dense. Other energy bodies do not dare to enter this area. Therefore, you need not worry about your safety. Xiao Xuan looked at Gu King Yang's group as he spoke. Gu King Yang's group looked at each other after hearing this. All they could do was smile bitterly and nod their heads. The only thing they could do when dealing with this person, who was once a top expert, was to completely obey him. Xiao Yan and that girl from the Gu clan, follow me. After randomly settling matters with Gu King Yang's group, Xiao Xuan turned to Xiao Yan and Shunar. After which, he placed both of his hands behind him and slowly walked into the stone tablet. His body swiftly became pale as he disappeared upon contact with the stone tablet. Xiao Yan gently exhaled when he saw this. He extended his hand to Shunar and smiled as he said, let's go. I. The anxiousness in Shunar's heart completely disappeared as she looked at Xiao Yan's smile. She obediently extended her soft hand and placed it in Xiao Yan's palm, 
allowing him to pull her along as they slowly walked to the stone tablet. Xiao Yan, take good care of Shun Er. Gu King Yang cupped his hands and spoke in a deep voice as he watched Xiao Yan and Shun Er walk toward the stone tablet. He knew that Xiao Yan would likely spend most of his time inside the tomb after entering it. All of you should also take care. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He extended his hand and gently touched the stone tablet. A bloodline connection was emitted from the stone tablet as a circular light scattered from the stone talisman, wrapping around Xiao Yan and Shun Er. Finally, the light scattered, and their figures completely disappeared. Gu King Yang and the rest looked at each other after watching the two of them disappear. All they could do was bitterly laugh before softly sighing forget it, given Elder Xiao Xuan's ability, he will not do anything to Shun Er. Let's just quietly wait here for them to come out. Gu King Yang shook his head. After which, he randomly found a stone platform and sat down. He gradually entered his training state. Gu Zhen and the other two could only nod their heads when they saw him sit down. They each found a spot and began to train. The light that filled one's eyes slowly disappeared. Xiao Yan and Shun Er slowly opened their eyes. Xiao Yan looked at the ancient house that had appeared in front of him and he involuntarily became a little absent-minded. It was unexpected that this simple and ordinary tablet actually hid such a mysterious place. It was indeed worthy of being an elite Du Sheng's resting place. Xiao Xuan stood with his hands behind him in the middle of the large hall in front. There was a clear pond in front of him. Numerous green lotuses were suspended on it, emitting a faint relaxing fragrance. Can you tell me about the situation of the Xiao clan? Xiao Xuan sighed when he heard the soft sound of footsteps behind him. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment when he heard this request. Finally, he said with honesty, the Xiao clan no longer exists. There is only the declined Xiao family left. Xiao Yan structured his thoughts after uttering these words. After which, he spoke in detail about the various unexpected changes of the Xiao clan during these years. Xiao Xuan slowly nodded after the last word sounded. His face did not reveal much emotion. The decline of the Xiao clan is something that I had already expected. At the very least, there are still descendants remaining. It has not reached the point of despair. Xiao Xuan's voice was gentle, appearing to possess a demonic strength. He seemed to to recall some things, while Xiao Yan, who had become a little emotional, once again became calm. Do you have anything that you wish to ask? Xiao Xuan looked at Xiao Yan and asked a question with a smile. Is ancestor really still living now? Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment before asking. If Xiao Xuan were able to live in another form, the Xiao clan would prosper. With such a peak expert, it was likely that even the Hun clan would have to be cautious. Xiao Xuan looked at Xiao Yan. A moment later, he slowly shook his head and said, What you are seeing now is merely a remnant part of my soul. When I died back then, I had instructed some people to deliver me to the heavenly tomb. Only then could I take on this current form and await your arrival. However, this is only limited to the heavenly tomb. I will immediately disappear once I leave here. Disappointment flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes when he heard this information. He bitterly laughed, the strength of the current Xiao clan is too weak. Having lost the bloodline strength, we are unable to fight with the other ancient clans. Someone like me is considered unusual to them. When the Xiao clan was still around back then, I had already sensed that the Du Di bloodline was about to be exhausted. You should understand that if the bloodline strength was becoming exhausted back then, the Xiao clan would have been annihilated by those enemies with ill intent. Xiao Xuan lifted his head. His eyes seemed to be recalling a distant memory. The only way to replenish the Du Di bloodline is for another Du Di to appear, but this is too difficult. The me back then was a little too arrogant and did not think that I would be blocked in front of the Du Di class. After discussing with the many elders within the clan, we decided to stake everything. We used a secret technique and transfer most of the bloodline strength within the clan to my body. I understand that it was the final hope of all the clan members. Xiao Xuan inhaled a deep breath of air. Some pain finally surfaced on his face. He had disappointed all the members of the Xiao clan. But I still ended up failing. When I was attempting to advance to the Du Di class, the Hun clan launched a sneak attack. I ended up seriously injured and I died. Xiao Yan was quiet when he heard Xiao Xuan's self-reprimanding sigh. A moment later, he softly said, that was the last method. If the bloodline strength was allowed to be exhausted, the Xiao clan would have difficulty escaping being destroyed. No one in the Xiao clan would ever blame you for this. 
However, if the strength of the bloodline has been exhausted, why is it that the clan tattoo has appeared on me? Xiao Yan suddenly rubbed his brows and doubtfully asked. The clan tattoo of the Xiao clan is not bestowed by another, it is created by oneself through training. Xiao Xuan smiled and continued, I can sense the Skyfire 3 mysterious change on you, because I was the one who created it. It is unexpected that you have accidentally obtained it. I remember that I gave it to the Burning Flame Valley back then. The word fate is indeed unpredictable. Xiao Yan revealed a stunned face when he heard these words. A moment later, he suddenly recalled the name that he had seen when he was inheriting the Skyfire 3 mysterious change at the Burning Flame Valley. Xiao Xuan? That Xiao Xuan there is the ancestor of the Xiao clan. The matters of this world is really unbelievable. Of course, the Skyfire 3 mysterious that you practice is still lacking the final step. It is precisely because it is lacking this final step that you have been unable to create a clan tattoo. Xiao Xuan softly explained. An excitement immediately surged within Xiao Yan's heart when he heard this. His eyes looked at Xiao Xuan with anticipation. Ha ha, relax. I have waited alone for so many years in order to hand everything to you. This final step of the Skyfire 3 mysterious change will naturally be handed to you. Xiao Xuan shook his head and smiled when he saw Xiao Yan's excitement. However, even if you form the clan tattoo, it is difficult to truly unleash it to its peak without the support of the bloodline strength. Xiao Xuan voiced his thoughts. Since it is called the clan tattoo, there must naturally be a bloodline strength as a source. Xiao Xuan nodded as he observed Xiao Yan's eyes dim. He smiled and stepped into the pond before walking to the middle. With a wave of his hand, one could see the water of the pond slowly rotate. Following the swirling of the pond water, Numerous blood lights were slowly emitted from Xiao Xuan's body. Finally, they followed his legs and entered the pond water. Following the numerous unusual blood light rays entering the pond, the clear water began to gradually turn blood red. At a glance, it appeared just like a pool of blood. At the same time, Xiao Xuan's black hair began to gradually turn white. His face had also become old. Xiao Yan's expression changed when he saw this change. He was just about to speak when Xiao Xuan, who was still in the pond, slowly shook his head. He smiled and said, Back then, I used all of my strength to preserve some of the Du Di bloodline, and I used many techniques to seal it. All that I was hoping for was to once again create a clan member who possessed the bloodline strength. The current me is only a remnant soul. All I can do is drift in this heavenly tomb. The matter of revitalizing the Xiao clan can no longer be completed by me. However, the heavens do not wish for my Xiao clan to end. I believe that you will do better than me. Xiao Yan felt an ache in his heart when he looked at the aging Xiao Xuan, whose eyes had become much gentler. He could sense that this ancestor of the Xiao clan, who had possessed a shocking talent, had carried a big burden. This bloodline strength also possesses some of the energy that I had sealed away when I was alive. My descendant. Hopefully, you will be able to complete the promise that I have made to the members of the Xiao clan back then. End of chapter.